Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's continue with SEK2. And we finally have our first uh, rocket tech cards coming through. As of about... Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Uh, one minute ago? Wait, no, that can't be it. Six seconds. Is that actually the first tech cards we just got this second? Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And away they go. What should we research? Looks like the input is keeping up. At least for the moment. We should be able to get 90 per minute, theoretically. Uh, 40 machines. I guess we actually have to research something for rate calc to do something. Because different sciences consume at different rates. Um, yeah, what should we research? Better speed modules? We actually need space science packs to get tier 3s. And those are the first ones I can be bothered putting in most things. We can get better adapt... Oh, power armor. Power armor is a good start. Sure, why not? I don't even need to think about it that long. What? When do we get the thruster suit? That is actually just behind life support. How much inventory space does this have? 6x6, six six, whereas Power Armor has 6x6. Six six. Um, yeah, I think we'll skip the regular Power Armor. Um, let's see. Life Support, Thruster Suit, it's only going to cost 300. Fantastic. We will, of course, need cargo rockets to get into space. And... Should probably go ahead and research as much reusability and survivability as we can. Uh, what about installations? I want those. I've queued up too much stuff. How about we put this on hold first? Um, I should probably get centrifuges. We're going to need those at some point. Umbrella, yes. And... Um, uranium processing, sure. Undead Hunter, Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Healy, good to see you again also. Pardon me while my voice breaks in. Alright, uh, research is chugging along at a rate of 152 per minute. Huh. Well, I guess we're bottlenecking on production. That's fine. I haven't automated... This is ready already? I haven't automated satellite production yet, so let's do that. Um, where are we going to do it, though? Let's get some assembly machines to start with. Small electric, steel, stone brick, iron plate, cogs. And what am I missing here? Automation cores. It'd be nice if we can just skip straight to bots that can do logistics. Before we bother building bots out here. Yay, second rocket, indeed. Although we've got nothing to put into it yet. Um, let's see. Pretend we're going to put it here. Satellite. Red Circuit LDS. 
solar panel accumulator, solid rocket fuel. Well, two of these are already here, but on different belts. Um, I could start with this. And then we just need to bring glass, uh, solar and accumulators, red circuits, and radar. How do we make radar in this mod? Automation core, small electric, stone brick, steel plate. Hmm. Do I really want to belt the radars up? Maybe. I could build it, like, here, or here. That rock is not actually in the way. It doesn't actually exist. Um, we're getting into a bit of spaghetti territory here, but what can you do? Radar. Uh, so, all four of these things are on the bus. I just have to do a couple of combined belts. There's a bug on your bus, indeed. That is our biter friend -o. Good boy. Or girl. Or other. Uh, what are we... Where can I fit this? We could do one there, one there. Perhaps. Um, so we needed... I think we needed automation cores, right? Automation core and small electric. They're actually right next to each other. Fantastic. So we're going to put this about here. And here. Easy enough. And then we need steel and stone brick, which are not next to each other. But we're still going to use the same kind of layout to bring this up to them. Whoops. You have friends, that is awesome. Guitars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More like pacifists, they're not on speaking terms. Wow. Okay. Did I not? Oh, I did. No, that's the other one. I needed to build this. Alright. Uh, so, all we need now is stone brick. Right about here. Or here, I guess. Fantastic. Uh, and that's actually everything, I think. And then we can put this here. Mr. Monty Ponty. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That actually lined up perfectly. So now we need to add glass, red circuits, solar panels, accumulators. Glass, red circuits, solar panels, accumulators. I could put one of those on this belt. But we need four things anyway. It's going to be two more belts. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did I do that little accumulator build? Here it is. Um... Could just snake it over here. 
Yeah, I honestly think one machine, for, like, for where we're at, one machine just constantly making accumulators should be more than enough. Thank you very much for the sub, Andy. Man, older Factorio today? Yes, indeed. Older cool kids are doing it. Let's say we go through here. And... Through here. And we swap this to the opposite side, perhaps. Wait, which side will this inserter... I can change it, but by default, which side will this output to? I think it's the lower side. Yeah, so this can actually stay where it was. And we can just spaghetti this up here. And that should be it. Whoops. So that just leaves solar panels, red circuits, and glass. Solar panels I've got being built way over here. Um, what do we need? Oh, that's kind of specific. I might even spaghetti belt this all the way back. Glass, EC, silicon, steel. Well, we're already having to bring glass up here, so EC, silicon, steel. Yeah, I I think... Well, there's steel here already. So EC, silicon. I don't think EC is close by. Unless you count that... Yeah, no. Let, okay. Enough with trying to figure out a different kind of spaghetti. Let's just let's just go all in on this sin right here. Um, I guess I'll run it next to this one. Where is it going? Oh, I see. Oh wait, is that glass? We need glass. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we need glass and solar panels. But how do I most gracefully take... This belt right here is just glass. Okay. So we're gonna split this. And merge this up here somewhere. Right here, in fact. Uh, I don't suppose this is... Well, I can swap how the inserter works. Let's see if it puts it on the side of the belt that's convenient for us. I think it is doing that. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Put an insert... What? Not like that. Put in an inserter here. Switch it to near side. This is gonna go like that. And our solar panels are going to stay on this side of the belt. And then that's it. Then I think we only need red circuits. Once we drag this over. Somehow. The spaghetti is intensifying. But we're almost there. Just two more belts. Let's grab some red underneathies. And I guess we could go here. Um, that's a little bit awkward, actually. I don't want to move that one. Oh, this is not supposed to be here. Let's just do this. It's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves.
Do you use mods of, uh, other than SE and Crustorio? Yes, indeed. Mad Dame Salsa. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you can see mods with this command or down below the chat. Uh, down below the video. Uh, is what I would say if the bot was working. Why is the bot not working? It has a habit of switching itself off after I change the settings. Cloud bot. Even though I checked and it was definitely on last time. What is taking it so long? Um, okay, is Streamlabs, like, dead or something? I might have to try again in a few minutes. Undelete bot. I'm draining my science from Nalvis and Nalvis orbit. I'll be moving to a moon. Nice. Oh, we can actually look... Oh, you must launch one more satellite to use the star map. But we've got the navsat. No! Okay. Uh, how am I going to get this here? This seems okay. Uh, is what I would say if that was lining up. That's not too bad. And then... Red Belt. And I believe that just leaves... Oh. Yeah, no, Red Circuits. I was going to say nothing for a second there. Red Circuits. We're using both sides of this belt. Um, I think it has to have its own belt to spaghetti its way up here. Where's the best spot to do that? About through here. That's a bit of a problem. But not really. Um, yeah, I can live with that. Definitely. All right. Up we go. That's yellow. Get out of here. And I just realized... I have no path to direct insert this. I can fix that. What is this belt? Where is it going? Oh, that's our... Uh, what are they called? Electronic components. We've run out. Interesting. But we actually can direct insert the satellite like this. I'm draining... Uh, hey, Ben Wu. I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The dashboard finally loaded. Cloudbot. Now it says Cloudbot is switched on. Okay. Mods. Maybe it messed up when I changed the alias for these two commands. Rocket away. Fantastic. Factorio mods aliases. Apparently the the alias I added last time didn't stick. It's only fans? No. Alright, there's the mod command working. Fantastic. I should probably try a different command before I assume that the bot is dead. Alright, so we can see the star map now. 
satellite discovered orbiting space platform. There might be useful stuff up there. Fantastic. Nalvis orbit to take a peek via the satellite. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> we can only see Nalvis. I am not used to this. <laughs> this this is oddly cool. Um, all right, let's have a look at Nalvis orbit then. What do we got? We've got a complete mess, actually. Lonely planet for sure. Look at this stuff. I believe that's a nuclear plant. We've got a centrifuge. What's getting damaged? Just some walls getting scratched. Not that big of a deal. Um, I like control three for a shortcut for Nalvis. Just because I'm used to it. Uh, Nalvis orbit, that is. Confirm. Control 3. And where would be... I guess here for now. Uh, how do I... Navsat. Control 1 for Nalvis. Fantastic. We got some stuff in chests. 200 space platform, 200 scaffolding, 100 space rail, 10 solar panels, uh, 500 beryllium plate, 500 copper, 500 iron, a single space manufactory, uh, 400 of the first four tiers of data card, not counting the blanks. I mean, not counting basic, as I think they're called. Advanced lab recycling facility. Biogun and cryogun. Nice. Very nice, actually. Uh, water barrel. Heavy oil. A little bit of lubricant. We've actually got a working decontamination facility. A very limited supply of really nice belts that we won't be able to get until the game is basically over at scale. There's also some lying around here. Oh, and what's this? Space capsule. Which, for some reason, has a bunch of sulfur, stone, and coal in it. Not to mention... Wait, can I launch this manually? Like, can I, can I launch this remotely, is what I meant to say. Yeah, Nalvis emergency burn. Emergency reserves will be used. Cargo capacity... 31 out of infinity. Is that because it's going, like, down? Fuel status ready to launch. Unselectable for this destination. Choose coordinates. Brace for rough landing. Expect to lose 50% of passengers' inventory. Well, luckily there are no passengers. Stored in the capsule will be safe. This landing will compromise the capsule. Only suitable for passenger transport, cannot be automated, not fit for cargo transport or long distance travel. So, can I actually just send this back down and then use it for myself? You need a passenger? Oh. Die and respawn in orbit? I don't think I'll do it that way. There are, there are two lit lamps here, so there's power working, apparently. Uh, it appears there is a single radar construction pylon. And we got 1.6 megawatts of power. There's an electric boiler somewhere. I think that was an accumulator. What's this? That's our guns. Did I miss anything else? Uh, what's that? Oh, a telescope, even though we have no recipes for it yet. I think that might be... Oh, here's another space capsule. A free cargo landing pad, delivery cannon chest. 
but yeah, I think I found basically everything. Fluid isometric generator. Liquid fuel as an energy source. I think that one of the preview screens uses one of those, or two, on a spaceship. We've also got some fish and... Rocket launch products? Dolphin? What? Rocket launch products? Dolphin. Well, we have to do that at least once. Uh, umbrella is being researched, which reminds me. We've got just under 13 hours until our first... Uh, coronal mass ejection. Where should we build an... Uh, steam battery. We should already have electric boilers, right? Whoops, whoops, whoops. My bad. Um, we should already have electric boilers. We do. Just takes one heat shielding. The rest is pretty basic. Uh, why don't we build one of those? And we'll see what kind of rate we're looking at. Grab some copper. Whoops. Oh, my inventory's too full. Uh, alright, shift C. That solves that problem pretty quickly. Good old even distribution. We need some steel as well. Hello, bite a friend. Steel is looking rather ragged right now. Is it actually producing at full speed? Mm, no, it's not. There's iron. Oh, there's no coke. It's not enough wood. Okay. Uh, I could start by improving this, uh, r repairing this, but I think I'll actually change it so that we do consume sand to make our wood. Otherwise, we're going to have to build an awful lot of these, not to mention consume a lot of power, which means consuming more coal. Uh, I need 20 glass. I'll be taking that. The boss is live. How's Frosty well? Pretty good. Maholic, Ragathian. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Button says no passenger, indeed. Uh, might be able to Oh, yeah, 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 I did read that. Won't be able to refurbish it without space tech. As in, it gets wrecked if we use the emergency launch. I'm guessing. Alright, um, I'll change... Actually, I'll just check this right now. It's the same recipe plus sand, right? Oh, we could also do plus fertilizer. Well, for now, uh, uh, the belt setup will be the same, I think. Yeah, same recipe plus sand. So I'll leave that running for the moment. We'll grab... I'll steal some of the stone from this belt. And we'll use a crusher. How many modules does the crusher use? Four. I think if we use a pulverizer... Which we can now get. It's got like... It might have five... Slots. For modules. Not that we're going to use them just yet. No, it's only four. Alright. Uh, what about the crafting speed? One versus... Two. Okay. It's actually much faster. Um... Is it the same size? I think it's the same size, right? Yeah, it's exactly the same size. Max consumption is like more than double for double the speed, though. I don't think we're going to need double the speed. I was just curious. So let's grab ourselves a crusher. Yay for greenhouses, indeed. 
I guess you do the fertilizer recipe if you really only want one or two greenhouses. Uh, I just can't be bothered with the fertilizer recipe just yet, but maybe in a bit. Should I do the crusher down here, actually? That might be easier. Either way. Um... I was going to say I want to leave room to expand stone, but stone hasn't even come remotely close to being a problem. But we can always move this, it's not going to be difficult. Why don't I just put this here? Actually, it's going to be really fast, isn't it? Consuming sand? I mean, consuming stone? Uh, it's only three per second. I was gonna make a a loader, but who cares? And then we'll just go. The output might be a bit faster. Seven point five per second. Yeah. Let's do this. That was close. Where are we going? Splitter. Oops. Need two blue inserters? Uh, it said it was only three stone per second. One should be enough, especially with a stack size of two. It swings like twice per second even accounting for the extra little bit of time it takes up to pick up another item. What was I coming here for? Belts. And... Belts. And... Inserters. I guess we'll have to do some power poles as well. Of course, that would happen to line up that way. Why not? And let's bring it over here. Does this reach? It does. Use the jetpack for this. Nice and fast. And last but not least, well, actually, not last because we need the power poles. And I've run out of inserters as well. Um, I think I still need to power this. Yes. Yeah, the insert is fast enough. Okay, more inserters. Yellow. Almost there. What? I keep missing with the pipette tool. And power poles. Let's see if I can... That works. That works quite well, actually. Alright, uh, time to change the recipe. Uh... Huh. Yeah, we actually should have a, um... It looks like... 
I was going to say maybe we should actually have a proper lane balancer. Because this was backed up and this was outputting to just one side. But I guess as long as there's room in the chest, it shouldn't make a difference. Okay. Recipe. Wood, but with sand. Uh, I should probably check the rate. That might be a good idea. How's our wall looking? A little bit scary, actually. There's no ammo down there. Uh, where is it? Okay. Glad I checked that when I did. Where are we going? Didn't quite lose a piece of wall. In fact, with the damage over time, we were very, very close to losing a piece of wall. Um, so why is there no ammo whatsoever here? The train has... lots. It's on automatic. Cargo... oh, I think... well, there's your problem. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. It was waiting to have 200 non-piercing round magazines. Um, could I get you to perhaps visit this station first? Thank you. Should upgrade the wall to concrete, has a lot more armor? I might. This is pretty easy to replace. Oh, we did lose a little piece of wall. Repairs go burr. Biters keep attacking. I don't have ammo for that, actually. There's our ammo. Where are we out of ammo? Here specifically. Okay, good. Perfect. Our rail got damaged by the media here. Rude. All right, back we go. Let's not forget to finish our um, our wood build. These biters look very small. Are they rampant? Yes, indeed. Research is finished for now. Delivery cannon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, we already got media defense installation. I should probably get that working. Um, nuclear power. Military 4, I'm not very excited by, to be honest. Did we already get the... Ooh, we can do portable RTG already. Let's do that. And exoskeleton. Signal transmission. Bot speed. Uh, uranium text plates, why not? Alright, are all of these working? Oh, I think we did physically finish the build, but we didn't check if rate was okay. So we're consuming 6 sand per second. Judging by the fact that it's at the end of this belt, I think we're probably already fine. Yeah, we're making 7.5 per second out of this one crusher. That's actually a really good ratio. And we're getting a whopping... 24 wood per second. That's actually more than one belt. Nice. Let's upgrade this. Bro.
probably doesn't have to be red all the way back here, but who cares. Oh. Uh, I guess we're bottlenecking on 15 per second here. How much wood do we actually need? 12 per second. That's good. That's very good, actually. You quadrupled the wood output? Uh, I think so, yep. Let's shift C here. Oh, and I was going to make... Until I got distracted by that, because steel was so slow. It's going to be a lot faster now. In fact... It looks like... Are we actually getting, like, almost 15 per second? 10 per second. Alright, well that's not too bad. For steel. It'll take a while to saturate that belt, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to do an electric boiler. So give me some steel. And some copper. And we're going to have a look at the recipes. I guess I could have done this in sandbox. Uh, so it, it costs 5.17 megawatts to run, and depending on the temperature of steam we're making, it takes longer to turn 100 water into that steam. Uh, what technology do we have? We have steam turbines. They're actually surprisingly easy to make. There's no steel involved or anything. It's just iron and copper. Huh. Okay, so anyway, steam turbine. Steam turbine? Uh, it just straight up uses 415 degree steam. I guess we have to go to 500. And I think I read somewhere that, like, in the description of one of these. Oh, it's for the condenser turbine. Higher temperatures decrease steam consumption instead of increasing power. Is that how it works with the steam turbine? With this mod set? Ten megawatts, fifty per second, but it doesn't recycle it. Ten megawatts, sixty-six per second, but it recycles it. All right, so there's no incentive to use the. As far as I can tell, it's also less efficient. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no incentive to use condenser turbines, in. Uh on the ground with this mud set. Matrim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Definitely go for steam turbines. The condenser stops working. Stops working? What do you mean by that? Whatever the case, uh, where should we put our... Oh, how big is it going to have to be? That's what I wanted to figure out. Um, so at this point, our coronal mass ejection is going to be 2.28 uh, gigawatts peak power. I think we have to ratio the steam engines for that. 2.28 gigawatts. So... Um, that's what, 100? 228 of these? Is that right? How many is this? 11. Is this 100? Yes. 220. 
Uh, electricity, 2.2 gigawatts. Two point three gigawatts. Yep. Um, can we push steam through this fast enough? Let's see. Five hundred steam per second. I would say so. But also, there's no reason not to just. So we want twenty three by ten. And I think we could just put the steam storage like this. How long is this? Seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. By 23. We need power poles to be able to reach as well. So maybe... Would substations or medium poles be better? Let's find out. So that can't reach further than three. But if we do the medium poles... Medium poles can reach two, but they only take up one tile. We'd need more of them, obviously. Something like this. Is that going to end up taking up the same amount of space? It is... I was going to say it's slightly more, but is that not accounting? What did I need this to be? 23... Let's call it 24. Uh, if we do the same thing here... Twenty-four, twenty-four, yeah, okay, so the substation's better. Even though those gaps are bigger. So we're gonna go... How many is this? Nine. 9 by 24, does that happen to be enough? It could be a bit neater. 2.16 gigawatts, tragically short. Um, I'm guessing this will go well and truly over the limit. 2.7. And this will go well and truly over the limit. That should be like 3. 2.88. Um, how about this? 1.98? Wait, this isn't enough. What am I doing? Derp. Uh, how about... Three more of those? 2.43? That's pretty close to what we're looking for. 2.28. Eh, uh, close enough. And then, tragically, I don't think, yeah, we do actually need even more power poles to link these. So, like that, like that, like that. And last but not least... I think that's our steam battery. Now we just have to fill it. We could just fill it from, like, one corner if we connect it like so. I mean, we don't actually need that many. This is enough already that the steam will get everywhere. But for symmetry's sake, we'll do that, I guess. Alright, where are we putting this monstrosity? It's actually not that big. 
We could put it like here. Missing a few zeros. 182 gigajoules is 60 by 182. Uh, hold on, let me just rate cock this again. Electricity, 2.43 gigawatts. Uh, peak power is 2.28 gigawatts. So it should be well and truly more than enough. Um, I think we'll put it about here. Oh, it's so nice to have the navsat now. Yeah, I don't see myself building anything else here. And it's nice and close to some water. Maybe it would be better if... Um, if I put it off to the side somewhere so that we can just have it run on its own solar power. No, I want to have the solar power shared, like when, when there's a surplus. When there's a surplus, I want... We could not quite fit it there. When there's a surplus, I want the power to... Uh, go to the main base. The power that would normally be added to this steam bank here. And we'll grab our electric boilers. Like so. We need 500 degree steam. We need some offshore pumps. We need some iron. Uh, the water is... the rate of water is actually going to be quite slow. I should probably be more careful about this, um... Uh, train track, actually. That surprisingly fits very well. And then we just need to power this. Oops. Not quite like that, actually, because I want a power switch. Okay. Um, so I need a accumulator so that we can measure... Oh, I've got some. So that we can decide when to flip the power switch. don't suppose that's going to reach, is it? We can now use the navsat to cheat wire. Fantastic. I can move myself around with the navsat. I can't move this around and move this around. I believe I can move trees around. If we could find some. Yes. And I think I could also, if I was so inclined... Move spider nests around. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Oh, what are these yellow ones? Fast spitter. Well, fast doesn't make that much of a difference where biters are concerned. Hey, Whiskers. The Phoenix. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Solar power has priority over turbines? Uh... What? I'd wire the power switch to an accumulator and turn it off if it's less than 20%. Yeah, no, I think I'll turn it off when it's, like, less than 100%, honestly. Um, we're, we're basically just going to be stealing power from the main base. Oh, that actually does reach. Can't go left or right now. Um... Normally I would do a latch for this, but since we're literally just going to shut this off if the accumulator isn't full, it's probably fine. Uh, 
So the moment there's any lack of accumulator charge, we're not gonna not gonna be running the electric boilers. Um, so now let's get some of this stuff built. I should probably prioritize the first steam turbine and a bunch of storage tanks. We've already got a bunch of storage tanks. Once I get one of these steam turbines done, we'll be accumulating steam. We've got plenty of time to do it for now. Oh, there's cliff explosives needed. Hope we don't run out just yet. Uh-oh. One off. One, two, three, one, two. All right, let's craft ourselves a steam turbine. We actually just need iron and copper, but we can speed it up by getting the right prerequisites. Perfect. And I don't know how much steam we actually need. Probably not much, to be honest. I'm, I'm probably going just ridiculously overkill with our steam storage here. But if necessary, I could turn it around and use this as a battery for the entire base. Um, I might just put a manual power switch as well. Is this going to reach? Probably not. It does. Okay. Uh, so this is just going to be manually controlled. Or, I could put the opposite condition on this, actually. So, if accumulator charge equals zero, we're going to hope that there's some steam in the batteries. Uh, and we'll just have this whole power network on one side. Maybe. Maybe. might work. It will consume steam, but only when the solar panels are not doing everything. So basically this is kind of like a giant accumulator right now. Could probably stand to add a few more electric boilers. Although presently it is night time. MyClap, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You need 182 gigajoules. Yes. 180 gigajoules over 120 seconds. Um, so if we pretend, if we assume there's no bonus for this being 500 degrees as opposed to 415, um, 50 steam per second for 10 megawatts. Uh, what is a joule per second, right? So, if it's... And I know how to, like, do the algebra to, like, cross off the denominators to simplify this, but I can't do it in my head. Regardless, all of these storage tanks are 50k. It should be utterly, ridiculously... Uh, bigger than we need. 10 megawatts during one second is 10 megajoules. Yeah. Uh, let's get ourselves some more boilers. Same recipe. 
And the steam engine has stopped because Solar is doing all the work right now. Fantastic. Okay, so really... Hmm. I would like to overestimate how many electric boilers we need. Because if I do those early, it's fine. Um, if I do those late, it's a problem. If I make the electric... It, let's say that this line of storage tanks is more than enough steam. Uh, if I make the electric boilers ahead of time and then make everything else at the last second, it's still going to protect us from the CME. But not the other way around. We need a hundred battery... Oh, I don't have processing units yet. Well, we've got like a day to make those. I need to start getting rare metals, finally. Um, I can't handcraft it because it needs sulfuric acid. Other than that, it's very easy. So I might just dump some of the rare metals I happen to have. Uh, right about here. Red circuits. I don't know how I have refined rare metals in my inventory. Do they just... Do we just mine it directly as rare metals? Anyway, let's grab some red circuits. Put this in here. Uh, apparently there's no sulfuric acid whatsoever. I did notice this earlier. I think it's because the batteries are consuming it all. What do we got? No sulfur. Uh, because no petroleum. Okay. Yeah, we need to increase our oil build. Let's not get distracted. Let's get the electric boilers first. And once that's done, we don't need to worry about it. Uh, how many can we fit here? What, how many do we need? We need another... I can move the coal belt a little bit. 25. So I need quite a f lot of copper, actually. I need heat shielding. Where's my heat shielding? Here it is. Uh, Hydro... Gen... Gen... Genoa? Gen... Genoa? Eo? Genoa? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just said two minutes of two gigawatt is good. Did the math by looking at fluid consumption and thinking about turbines going at full power with rate calc. Steam battery is totally worth it. Yeah, it's not just our CME defense. It's also, like, a huge emergency battery as well. T-Hacks getting distracted? Never. Exactly. Need to buffer 910,000 steam in total. That's a lot. Um, but considering that this is 100k, uh, yeah, we're going to have way more than enough storage for it. Okay. Um, 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 um. I needed the heat shielding because I needed electric boilers. I need steel for that. I need copper for that. And I've kind of lost track of how many I'm making already. 13 plus 4, I think. And I'll be surprised if we need more than one offshore pump. 
It's only 352 water so far. Oh, that flickering. What the hell? Oh, it's because... Maybe I should do a latch. Yeah. Alright, fine. We'll do a stupid latch. Let's design it here. Make it nice and easy. Uh, power switch. What the... Okay. Where did it go? Power switch. I think we should only need one. Accumulator. Three decider combinators. Mods really make it different every time. Where where to find things. Alright. So we're gonna read the accumulator charge. We're gonna say if accumulator charge is greater than something, output green. If accumulator charge is less than something, output red. And then we're gonna have this one with its input linked to its own output. That makes it a memory cell. If you give it a condition like, uh, I think it just holds on to the green signal, right? If green is greater than red, output green. So once we give it a pulse of green, it's going to hold on to one green until it receives a red signal. And if accumulator charge is greater than 99, we're going to switch it on. If accumulator charge drops below 80, we're going to switch it off. And it's as simple as that. I need some decider combinators. Mercifully, I am able to handcraft them. Which mod is this? The only one I've seen is Editor Extensions, but it looked more like it enabled cheat mode in your game. It is Editor Extensions. So you go Settings, Mod Settings, per player, and down the bottom under Editor Extensions, there is something called Testing Lab. Just set that to anything but off, and you might want to disable uh, Inventory Sync if you don't want to cheat. So then, if you have these settings and you use, like, Control e or this shortcut in your game, uh, it'll jump to this other surface instead of, like, enabling cheats, basically. It's brilliant. The only thing that you can't do with it is, like, play around with spaceships going to different surfaces and stuff. Oh, we're not even taking damage now. Alright, well, we're further ahead of the biters still than I thought. If green is greater than zero, trigger the power switch. That's weird. Accumulator... Should be a hundred. It is a hundred. If accumulator is... Oh, this is input count, that's why. Output one green, output one red, and output green input count linked to its own input, linked to its own output. Wait, what? Oh, it's going to count up. Is that a problem? I don't think so, but theoretically, if it reached, like, max int, something bad might happen. But, yeah, we can just output one green if green is greater than red. And then, because these two are mutually exclusive, we're not going to be outputting green based on the accumulator charge when we output red. When we do output red, green will no longer be greater than red, so the memory cell will shut off, and so will this. Uh, 
Editor mode removes the engineer guy, yeah. The only thing you really need your character body for, strictly speaking, uh, when you're in, like, a sandbox, is to test, uh, like, gates and stuff. Um... Steam turbines. That would be good. Oh, these can't output to where the steam is unless I make these steam turbines. Let's do that. We need 18. 18 steam turbines. That, we need a bunch of iron. We need a bunch of copper. We need a bunch of prereqs so that we don't take two years to handcraft. We need more room in my inventory. Let's grab like three stacks of everything. Whoops, that wasn't three stacks. Where am I? Oh, that's steel. I was going to say, I thought I was putting these in a box somewhere. Cogs. And... And what? Copper plate. Oh, because I shift seed that as well. I think. Alright, that's ten. We're still handcrafting. What did we just run out of? Pipes, cogs, and that's it. I think I've got pipes over here now. Wait, where'd they go? So that is 13 plus whatever we've got, which is zero. I think. Almost done researching delivery cannon? Or have we run out of speed modules? Because we've got no electronic components. Because we've got no plastic. Because we've got no petroleum. Uh, as soon as I place these ones that we're already handcrafting, we'll go and expand our oil production. And I think I'll just copy this over here, for simplicity's sake. Even the regular underground pipe has a lot of range. This is even better. So we need five refineries, and probably don't need half of these um, heavy oil to light oil cracking machines. So I'll steal a couple of those. Thing goes over here. So we need like four chemical plants. We need some glass. And five refineries. May as well make some more while we're at it. Oops. I'm surprised how quickly we go through small electric motors, though.
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. I have no underground pipes. And we're already handcrafting. Let's do a little bit of spaghetti over here. already working. Um, you know what? Wooden chest. That is working rather slowly actually. There we go. This is actually full. Wow. Could I perhaps steal a bit of this? Much better. All right, away we go. Gonna need to remember to connect the power as well. Actually, it doesn't matter yet. This doesn't need to actually have power to let the steam through it. Oh, I already ran out of that? Okay, that was a little bit surprising. I'm going to need more for the uh, oil build as well. Can't actually click drag that. Maybe if I put ghosts there? Yeah. Except then I could click drag it into this and break it. Alright, I need to come back and build more steam turbines later. Now then, let's double our oil. Are the pump jacks going to keep up? Probably. Used a substation or two. I need some pumps also. Can't actually make them at the moment. I also need a lot of uh, storages. aren't needed. Whoops. Oh, I do have pumps. Fantastic. I've run out of undergrounds already. How many do I need? Forty. Doop doop. That doesn't go anywhere anymore. And then we just need like twenty-seven. Let's just make a stack of these uh, large storage tanks as soon as we get back. Where does this go? Oh, that's our water. I'll be taking that. At least I want to copy paste this later. I think that's basically everything. Let's go get our storage tanks. 
So it's steel, steel, and steel. That's fine. And the steel on the belt, but probably definitely not in the storage chest. That's 20. How many did we need? For the moment. Uh, 27. Oh, there it is. We are still researching, at least. Just too bottlenecked on petroleum right now. Now what about crude oil here? What's our rate gonna look like? It's still positive. Fantastic. This doesn't have water. There we go. Crafting a few more. But because I did a set of five. There we go. That'll be a little bit faster. One and done. And last but not least, I've. I'm like. Three steel pipes short. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No! I was slightly too slow. Alright, let's grab some more steel. Here we go. That's it. I think. Let's see. 23k and 23k. 22, 22, 14, and 14. Now, is this enough petroleum? Let's pretend we have no cracking for a second. 60 petroleum per second. Um, and... This is 300 per second. Good grief. Well then. May have ratioed that a little off. Yeah, it's only 60 petroleum per second directly, but we get a bunch from cracking as well. That's another 80, theoretically. Although... Um, light oil, 140. This would consume almost all of the light oil as well. Even so, that could consume all of our petroleum, for starters. 
I mean, it'll look different when as things gradually saturate, but even so. Switch some refineries to petrol. Let's have a look at this. Um, so refinery... Refinery... Where is it? I already had 12. So, crude oil becomes only 90 petroleum gas, or it becomes 90 plus 30, if we were to weight all of those equally, which we won't, or it becomes uh, 120, but what's the, without productivity modules, what's the rate of conversion? Heavy to light becomes, uh, 40 becomes 30. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. And light to petroleum, 30 to 20. So we get 90 plus 30, 120, 120. 90, but we lose uh, one quarter of the heavy oil going to light, and one third of the light going to petroleum. So if we were to do heavy, losing a quarter of 70... 17.5. Um, so it's like just over 100, 102.5, without worrying about the next conversion. Is it really more? I could just run some recipes to check. 100 crude oil, 100 crude oil, 100 crude oil. It's going to be easy. Whoops. It's going to be easiest to check this if we just give each of them a set amount. So let's say. I don't want to give them like 25k. That's going to take a minute to go through. But how about... Eight... A thousand? Exactly 100% crude oil. Wait, where did I do that? Exactly 100%. And then let's turn this into regular pipes. Oh. Uh, I think that's... 100.0 out of 100? 100 out of 100. That's different. I feel like that's somehow... Not gonna... Okay. And then... Free water. And then... Storage tank. Uh, we'll... We'll just crack all of it. So something like this. Actually, I could do it this way. In 
infinite water, infinite water, and petroleum goes here. I guess I could pump it in to make sure. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's power it. And also, let's speed it up. Alright, so the petroleum only one gives us 900. Uh, the. Oh, this is both light oil. No! This one gives us 860. That's not that much less. And that's also without productivity bonuses here. Um, but this was supposed to be heavy. Let's delete it. Put it back. Um, get rid of the outputs. Turn this into crude. Change it back to pipes. And go. And I assume this is going to be less than this one. It's the same? Wait, what? 960? That can't be right. Can it? Surely, surely not. There's no way making heavy gives us the most of everything. Is there? Let's... Let's run this experiment one more time. I want to be absolutely sure. So there's no... There's no crude oil input. Um, actually, it'll be saturated anyway. They've all got the same amount of crude oil to start with. We're going to change it to regular pipe. Whoops. Well, it's still the same amount. Oh, this has output. I think that's... I think... I think that's the problem. Alright. Take... 17,000. Crude oil, exactly 100%. And... Change it to pipe. And empty this. Okay. So nothing up my sleeves. Uh, it's already run as many recipes as it can for each of them. Is that a problem? No, no it's not. Unless... Oh, it might be. Depending on the order that I changed these pipes in. Why don't we do this? They can each have 900. I'll make it a thousand, why not? Nice round number. I can't... For some reason I can't copy-paste these cheat pipes in this mode. Alright, so these are empty. We're going to change these to regular pipe. Empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty, empty. Empty, 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 empty. Fantastic. We can put these back now. And we're just going to add some pipe. 99.9? .9. Are you serious? Oh, it happened to all three of them, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we get 630 petroleum, 590, and 500. Okay, that's about as expected. 
What if they have prods? Or the cracking? I'm curious now. Uh, so let's get a super beacon. Let's delete this and put it back so we know everything's empty. Uh, speed modules in here. Product, let's say productivity three. And I've kind of already forgotten exactly how much we got from each of these. One of them was 590. Alright, so there should be exactly 1,000 crude oil for each of these. And connect. And again, we miss out on one of the recipes by a... This one got all of the recipe. Factorio? Eight hundred and ten, eight hundred and ninety. Really? Hmm. Well, to be fair, that's with no prods here. I should put prods in these ones as well. I'm not sure if that's going to even things up or not, though. So this is empty. Exactly 100 crude oil. Oh, was that... Wait, what? 50 out of 100. It should be exactly 100%. Oh, it's because it's draining out here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, change those to regular pipe. Confirm that none of these have anything in them. And go. Once again, the heavy oil for some reason gets to finish its final recipe, while the other two don't. But we get 990... 1.1k... And also 1.1k, I don't know exact... Oh, here it is, 1140, 1090, but that was with an extra recipe. So... I dare say the light oil is the most efficient with prods. The problem with using floating point numbers in a deterministic model. I see. Schnipper? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 630, 590, 560. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll keep using light and just get around to using prods at some point. It doesn't make that much of a difference yet. We're not losing that much um, uh, petroleum. Well, on the other hand, if I do change some of these to petroleum, I don't actually have to change the pipe layout. Prod 3 is far away. It's not that far, is it? Prod... Oh, here we go. Prod... Oh, it's further than I thought. Uh, okay, Prod 2 then. One more experiment. And... We need some Prod 2s. Same amount. Maybe I should remove one pipe. If if the heavy oil one is going to do one more recipe every single time, maybe I should remove one pipe section so it's actually the same number of recipes. Crude oil, exactly 100%. Chest. 
change it to regular pipe. Confirm everything's empty. And connect. Whoops. That's interesting. So it actually... Okay, fine. I'll do it. What? Well, that's not what I meant to do. We'll make, like, one crude oil. Exactly 2%. How's that? We did it. Okay. 900? 960? 880? Yeah, prod 2s. Uh, give us more petroleum this way. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, I will be swapping some of these to petroleum for the moment since it's actually super easy. Um, we can just uh, we can just uh, not even have to change any of you know what, we've had no shortage of heavy or light so why don't we just make all of these petroleum for now. Screwed up the pipe so it didn't get the extra craft? How so? Did it get the extra craft after, like, I added the extra two crude oil? So that they all got the same number? I should have just checked products finished, actually. But I'm pretty sure heavy oil will fall behind regardless. Just do tank with pump as input for more precise test. Yeah, but that's going to take longer. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't let the backseat driver bother you. Nah, it's fine. Besides, I wanted to do the signs instead of just approximating it in my head. I think I might have calculated it a long time ago, but who knows. Motherboard Hugo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Daniel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Uber Skiff as well. Forgot one underground pipe on the most left machine. That was a while ago. Okay, this will do for now. I'm definitely a little bit more motivated to get productivity modules now. Um, how is our... I'm guessing until we fill up on batteries. Oh, that's sulfuric acid. But yeah, sulfur is petroleum. Um, until we back up on certain things. There's actually zero plastic here, but there's plastic right on the belt. Hmm. I wonder if there's, like, hidden storage here. Oh, I see. It's going over here. And I don't have a balancer. Oh, so we're actually... Yeah, we're actually really low in plastic. That's more what I, that's more what I would expect to see. Either nothing or it's backed up. Is the most common outcome. At any given time. Um... Our pump jacks are still looking very lazy, so I guess we could expand this even further. Like... Like that. We've still got some refineries, actually. Not a whole lot of storages. Do I have chemical plants? Yes, I do. I'll put those there for later. We need a whole lot of steel. I'll grab some pipe while I'm at it. And... Lots 
and lots of steel. Steel is looking really good now. On the plus side. So let's try and move that oil bottleneck. start on bots. I can't really be bothered with bots until we can get logistic bots properly. Which uh, is actually really early into space, I think. Logistics. Yeah, we just need 300 space science packs. I think we even might have 300 freebies up here. Or not. Aren't there normally some free... I think in the regular space exploration, there were a bunch of, like, a few hundred free rocket science packs. But... Perhaps not this time. Yeah, I think, uh... I think we might be missing out this time. Rip. What does it actually take to make Rocket uh, science pack. Oh, we have to unlock it first. Space transport belt and cosmic water. Cosmic water is probably still just lubricant and water or something. Oh, I think there's another step involved first. Nope, it's literally just lubricated water. But you have to make it in space. Did you launch one or two satellites so far? Um, I launched two. I had to launch a second one to get the... Oh. Wait. Have I been... How many of these have I launched? Products finished. Nine. Okay. Uh, apparently we've launched nine rockets. And I completely failed to notice. So that's cool. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five uh, planets that we haven't looked at yet. Six. Wait, I thought we had five messages here after... That's the space platform. And then we've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So how is there one, two, three, four, five, six... Of these. Eshu, Granus, Hyperion. Eshu, Granus, Hyperion. Zakhol. Sage. And Soferna. There was no report that we found it, apparently. That's weird. All right. Um, what have we got? After the first asteroid belt, there's probably going to be another one. We've got a small moon. It's relatively close to the interstellar map. I don't think... I, I think there's going to be more stuff out here. I want, ultimately, our final... Our, our main base to be... Preferably on a small moon that's as close to the interstellar map as possible. But not too small. What do we have? Eshu is crude oil. I think I think the nearest moon is always crude oil and very small. 1% threat, but we have Bita Meteors, so we'll have to have defenses there. I mean, we'll have to have media defense in any case. Immersite Cave. Rare metals, iron, vitamin, all the other things, but basically crude oil. Granus is Vulcanite. I'm guessing the nearest one to the sun in the home system is always Vulcanite, because we had the same thing last time. Uh, here we've got rare metals. Mineral water. Rare metals again. And cryonite. So far it's not looking great for what we'll be able to get from our home system. 
with core fragments, that is. Um, we can always exploit temporary mines as much as they're a nuisance. But I think of them as stop gaps as opposed to a real resource source. Uh, yeah, this won't output to the heavy oil, that's fine. Let's finish building this. I've actually got enough pumps. Fantastic. I also want to build... Uh, I want to get to the point where I'm pretty sure I won't be adding more intermediate products to this main bus base. Uh, and then I'll build a mall near the end of it. Since we have to do it without bots. Oh, that's not an underground. Anything else? Don't forget this. It doesn't actually have to be steel pipe here. And I'm missing this. The map is nice to find the ghosts that are hard to spot. We're actually gaining petroleum. Is the petroleum getting pumped over here fast enough? It is not. Okay. Will it get pumped fast enough if this gets full enough? I don't think I want to count on that. Why don't we add some pumps? And I guess I should start making steel pumps, maybe? And on the other hand, maybe I should pump from the other side. That might be good. Let's do that. Pump. Steel underground. And I guess I'll add a bit here. I wonder why you need pumps, just to increase pipe throughput? Yeah, uh, so the way fluid throughput works in Factorio, it's actually the more pipe segments you have, the slower it gets. So like, if you have... That, that's why later on when we get uh, space pipes, the long space pipes, uh, the way they work is these all count as one section of pipe. Whoops. Even though they're longer than one by one. So if you look here, well, if we put some fluid in them, let's do that. Water. So each of these just contains 100 water because it's one section of pipe. Um, however, if we if we do this and we have like a water source here and a pump here and something, a bunch of stuff consuming it over here. Let's say we've got enough consumers that it's definitely, definitely going to consume whatever we can give it. Uh, basically, this is going to be much higher throughput than this. The fewer sections of pipe you have between pumps or something, um, the faster it'll go. Up to the limit of whatever the pump can do, if it's like directly from one container into the next. Every 11, I add a pump for longer undergrounds. Indeed. Battle Rabbit, Big C. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Creo Gentleman, welcome, welcome. Also, I think I said so already. Liquid behaves like molasses in Factorio. Yeah, it's actually like the opposite of how liquid should behave. I mean, look at this. Our, uh, well... 
Uh, oh good, I didn't actually finish this yet. Um, our tank all the way on the left here has 7.5 thousand, 7.6 thousand petroleum in it. It is linked to this tank over here, but this has 1.5, not 1.5 thousand, it has 1.5 petroleum in it. Um, and you can see it gradually increasing as we go left. Hence, we add this pump, and that might be enough to actually bottleneck on our petroleum production now. Or, yeah, 300 isn't that much. I don't know what the, I don't know what the lower limit is if we have a really, really long set of pipes. Um, but 300 is, like, comfortably slow. Even though it's a lot of petroleum. How much petroleum are we making here? 126 per sec. Yeah. We should be able to bottleneck on the actual consumption now as opposed to the pipe throughput. Maybe. I mean, eventually this will fill up to the point where this will flow faster as well. Um... But yeah. Uh, that's why trains are so good with fluids. Because once you have to transmit fluids over a significant distance, um, putting them all into a wagon, it takes like a second to fill up 100k or less. I'm seeing plastic come out faster, so yeah, that is definitely something. Plastic's actually a really good measure of how we're doing for fluid throw. Whoa, whoa, okay. That that was a spike. That's interesting. Oh, it's probably when we put that pump in. That was like, what, 1.5 minutes ago? Because it's consuming the... Because um, uh, it was consuming the petroleum that we had accumulated. And now it seems to be settling at a rate that is much higher than we had before, on average. Uh, sulfuric acid, as well, should be a good indicator. I mean, sulfur. Well, sulf sulfuric acid as well, since it needs sulfur, but... Sulfuric acid just shot into the str Oh, that's the 10 hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about what I would maybe expect. So we are doing much better now. Even if the pipe is super long, the throughput is still fine as long as it is full. Mm -hmm. I just hope TH here knows... Otherwise, he'll have a fun time when he tries to set up and thinks it would work. I think that's the only way to get valves. Valves. Oh, pumps. Okay. Uh, so what's next? We're pretty okay for defenses for now, but it could get bad. We got some spawner enemies coming. Which are really one of the some of the weaker ones, to be honest. They just basically drop more hit points for your turrets to chew through. Uh, fast and not very scary. Poison or oh, oh, this is acid. That's not that bad. Poison are kind of nasty. That's these guys, I think. Oh, that's acidic. Do we start? If, if we look far enough away... Oh, I can do a scan of Nalvis. Let's do that. I wonder if the way Rampant works is... If we look far enough away... From spawn to begin with... Do we see... Uh, like, nuke biters? Or do they evolve or change at some point?
chunk generation is going to make the game just a bit chunky for the moment. Good old Navsat, indeed. Bonian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is probably far enough. Let's wait for it to catch up. What do we have here? Regular biters. Maybe they do transform at some point. Yeah, I doubt... Oh, they just did! Right before our eyes, they just turned into common biters. Interesting. You can see the, the color changing. Well, that answers that question. Regenerative biters? I think they already attacked us. Oh yeah, these are the ones giving us the the crab type enemies. Wait. Did they walk all the way from up there? No, here's some regenerative. Those are just worms though. I don't see any regenerative spawners. Okay, so my working th hypothesis for now is there are no nuke biters on the entire planet, but maybe the common some of the common ones will like transform into nuke biters at some point. It's your boy Berries. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so to the surprise of no one, uh, this base is struggling just a little bit. Pretty much just on oil. Although we are, surprisingly enough, um, most of our rocket tech card machines are actually working right now. So it's it's working better than expected, especially considering... We're still, like, empty on sulfuric acid here. And we're still trying to save up. I could maybe stop accumulating batteries for now. That might help. Should probably go ahead and build some of these accumulators. Fantastic. I should check on our ammo distribution as well. That's actually looking very, very good. Okay, that needs an upgrade right there. Do we have stack inserters? I can handcraft one. Wait, can I automate stack inserters yet? Yeah, I think so. Should probably do that. So this is stackies, this is stack filters. We need red green circuits and steel cogs, which are all the way down here. Correction, they're all the way over here. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, why don't I steal the green circuits from here? Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's the rest of your stream? Is everyone still alive? Uh, Oliman, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you get that, uh, what is it called? Geyser? Analyzed? 
started to analyze. Everyone is still breathing. Fantastic. Good to hear. Uh, let's do green circuits here. And this one will be red. Oh, it's actually three things. Uh, in that case... It got analyzed. Nice. So what kind of geyser was that? I don't think I've seen that before. Is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. Let's steal that. It got built out, although I may have built too high. But we'll see. Either way, it'll be safe to work on. Hot water geyser. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Um, hot water. So how hot does it come out? Oh, wait. Hot water. I think that's actually what I had in my save, now that I think about it. Where am I going? Oh, here we go. And then we need red circuit and steel cog. Red circuit is just here. Steel cog is here. So I think... We just run this up like so, and I might just, oh, what a mess, um, you saw nothing, oh no, oh that's already a stack, oh no, okay, there we go, red circuits, Oops. Um, steel cog will be something like this. One off. Wait, what? Did I dump that up? Probably. Let's go get it started. Just your average deep shower temp? Deep shower temp? Uh-oh. About 300 Fahrenheit. Uh, what's that in Australia units? 300 Fahrenheit. That's like... I know that's warm, but it sounds way hotter than it probably is. 97C. Oh, so almost steam. Okay. That's pretty hot for... That, that's about as hot as water gets, yeah. Uh, for the most part. Alright, I think we will do this. And this. And spaghetti this through here. Fantastic. Can we actually fit this through here? Oh, we can. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. Alright. I'm pretty sure a yellow belt will be enough for this. Red circuits and steel cogs. Those are super slow. Well, not super slow, but less than half a belt of yellow. Wait a sec. Inserter parts? This is not inserter parts. I made a slight miscalculation here. Uh, shift C, get this crap out of my inventory. Where am I making inserter parts? Here they are. Except we're only putting them into the burner inserters. Uh, how can we... How can we get this out? Spaghetti intensifies. Alright, we did it. We got there eventually. Where's our stuff? Oh, I forgot this underground. 
nice. Geologically, a geyser would certainly superheat water under a great deal of pressure. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Like, can you get water that can't flash to steam because it has nowhere to go? It gets hotter than 100 degrees. Didn't connect your last line. Did I just fix it then? Got it. Okay, cool. Healy, good to see you again. I think I said so. Because I remember thinking, oh, it's just below boiling when I discovered it. Okay. Mr. Monty Ponty, just Jack. Water geyser in Oni is usually 95. 312 for boiling instead of 212 just now. Oh, as in you thought wrong? Or. I wouldn't know with uh, Fahrenheit. What are we missing here? Blue inserters. And this takes green. Alright, cool. I think that's it. For now, I'll just limit them to a couple of stacks. And now that we've got that, there was just one thing I wanted a stack inserter for at this stage. Nice. What's our stack size? Five. That's so sad. It's only two and a half times better than a fast inserter. Okay, um, what's next on the agenda? What are those? Oh, okay. The trees on the map are blue. Some of them are anyway. It was red and looked kind of like a volcano. Then when it was a water geyser at 96, it was orange slash red. Was it red because it was hotter at the time? Like a cool steam vent blue, and then it was a steam vent at 500. Huh. So it changes its name, depending on the context? Or am I misunderstanding? Bite a friendo. Every other time I see Bider Friendo, I think, oh god, it's a Bider. 200F, I just typed it wrong. Okay. Oh, and I was making some blue circuits. I don't remember why, but let's grab them. Just a couple thrown together. What do we need blue circuits for? Processing unit, signal receiver, centrifuge, exoskeleton, nuclear power. It was, oh, the umbrella. I don't think I have a hundred of these yet. Not even close. Uh, I should probably start actually mining these rare metals, huh? Let's get some drills. doop a doop Research is going a lot faster now. Um, what should I queue up? Do we even... Okay, I definitely want Prod 2. That's as good as it gets before we go to space. And we're going to get more petroleum that way. There's not a whole lot else we can research just yet. I guess it's just because of prerequisites. Um, I should probably figure out what I want more first. Power armor stuff. Portable nuclear reactor. Maybe. Well, I definitely want, like... Personal lasers might be good right now. And Tesla coil? Wireless transmission of power into, equip uh, into equipment grids. Yes, please. How big is it? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, we built this? And then this is two by two. That's tiny. 
Okay, I think I love this, actually. We can just suck power from the base and then go and laser the biters. Alright, uh, let's check military as well. Everything else requires space science, except we can upgrade our laser damage. We may as well do that. And uh, adaptive armor mark too, of course. Tubes are actually one kilometer tall. Yikes. Sea critters explode if they get to the surface of the ocean. Wait, what? Oh, oh, in real life, the ones that live deep underground, uh, in the, uh, deep in the ocean. Right, I getcha. Dupes are giants? I thought, for, for a minute there, I thought the dupes must be really small because of the way the water globs onto things. Um, and then I look at, like, the stats of, for example, one tile of oxygen is literally a ton of oxygen. And I thought, well, that can't be right, can it? Um, I kind of lost track of... Oh, I should build more steam and uh, steam turbines, rather. What do we need for prod 2? Glass, electronic components, electronic circuit, and then sulfur. Hmm. We can do delivery cannons now. Own galaxy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We thought we were on an asteroid, it's actually a planet. Oh my goodness. Uh, we could do portable RTG. I haven't actually done anything with uranium yet. There goes another rocket. Oh my goodness, the volume. We're actually accumulating... No, I was going to say we're accumulating solid rocket fuel, but it's actually just because the rocket is launching. Uh, yeah, steam engines. Let's not get distracted. Steam turbines, rather. It's basically just iron and copper, but... Uh, burgers and fries. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Want to play this game someday, even though it's kind of intimidating? It's a lot, but you can just figure out one thing at a time with Factorio. It's not like... It's not like oxygen not included where you'll die while you try to figure things out. Erisia Smogan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab some iron, some gears, some straight up copper plate. And even more copper plate. And some of these. That should be enough. Or, or is it? How many do I need? 13. That's probably not enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I have one more. Seven. I just want to get at least this many done so that we're accumulating steam as fast as we reasonably can for the CME. Oh, that's already a lot of steam that we've accumulated. The base game isn't that complicated. Yeah, the base game, compared to space exploration, is like... What? Ten times? A hundred times? Less? Like, in, in terms of sheer volume of different recipes and things, it's a lot. Uh, and it's also a lot simpler in terms of... Like, when we get to space, a lot of our recipes have byproducts that we have to deal with, and recycled stuff, like... 
one of the inputs comes back and doesn't get used up like 25% of the time or something. The vanilla Factorio doesn't do anything like that. Admitted. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Survival games equals die a lot, learn the mechanics, and then work out how to die less. Yeah. Factorio is actually a Dark Souls game? What? The base game is the basic tutorial for SE. That's kind of true, yeah. Definitely. Base game is... Uh, relatively simple compared to Crastorio or Space Exploration. This is true. This is Xenox. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, let's get a couple more of these electric boilers. We're going to need a lot of copper. Well, not that much, relatively speaking. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I could use some more inventory slots. Whether we make thruster suit or power armor, we get 20. Um, I think the only benefit of power armor over the thruster suit is uh, damage resistances, but I'm pretty sure that only kicks in if you run out of energy shield. So there's actually, like, no reason, at least now, to make power armor. We get the same 6x6 equipment grid, 20 inventory size bonus. And we don't need blue circuits. We don't need processing units to make a thruster suit, unless life support does. So it's actually easier to make the thruster suit at this point. And that comes with a little bit of free uh, jetpack as well. And underground pipe. Nice. Today I found out which amounts of basic off-world materials I need for T3 modules. And you're now crying? Uh-oh. Nilao, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get this stuff together. 20 LDS. Oh. I just ran out of uh, processed fuel. Let's throw the wood in there as well. Raise the key. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Almost got it going. Almost got it going. Factorio changes how you think about gaming. It's true to some extent. Uh, I should probably pick up a lot more processed fuel than that. What do we need for this? 20 LDS, 10 rocket control unit. Uh-oh. Um, we've already got the heat shielding, I've already got jetpack here, carrying too much automation core, I need glass, you know what, let's just take off the, no, let's not take off the jetpacks until we're ready, um, 20 glass, 1 life support. Coal and big electric motors. And I just got rid of my coal. Why can't I? Oh, I need a life support facility to make this. Can I make one now? I actually can. And now I need more LDS. How do we make... We don't need water or anything. Nope. I can just throw it down wherever I like. Life support facility. Control click. Give that back.
Why am I carrying one stone tablet? And then some glass. And that's it. And I'm going to do a little shift C to uh, clean out my inventory a bit. Let even distribution drop things off for me. Apparently there's not much else. Oh, there we go. Much better. All right, this is our equivalent power armor Mark One. Nice. So we got six by six. Uh, what else do I have that goes in power armor? I do have a portable generator, but I don't. I generally won't use that. Um, where is adaptive armor? Uh, we're on our way to researching. Wait, did I already get it? Yeah, we did. Personal, oh, we've got personal sniper laser defense. Was that under... Yeah, we got both of these. Personal Submachine Laser Defense. Personal Sniper Laser Defense. Fifteen plus six laser at a speed of fourteen. Versus two hundred and ten at a rate of less than one per second. So like, less than two hundred per second. Uh, and something like 240 per second. But the range is going to be nice. I'll probably end up going for a bit of both. That one with 210 damage, indeed. Especially against all those smaller biters, it's not necessarily that great. Um, but having the reach, though... It's very power hungry. Energy per shot, three megajoules. Energy per shot, 200 kilojoules. Uh, how many times does this have to shoot to catch up with this? 210 damage versus 10 times 200 kilojoules, two megawatts. So it's like 50% less energy efficient. The personal sniper laser defense. Max consumption isn't that much higher. But considering our power, well, if I get good batteries, oh, oh, that's chunky, uh, battery, what batteries do we have? What batteries can we get? We've already got big personal battery, which is two by two. And the next tier, I assume... We're not getting for a long time. Yeah. Big personal battery. It's just iron, copper, and some personal batteries. This is battery plus EC plus iron. Let's just handcraft a few of those. Iron and copper. Uh, how much room are we going to dedicate to storage here? Well, at least one 2x2 two two slot. You can use them in the Tesla coil? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because in vanilla, at least, batteries last... Uh, batteries actually have a lot of storage space. And there's no, um, there's no, like, passive draw on them. There's no limit. Oh, there is actually a max input and output on these now. I think the vanilla power armor batteries have no limit to how fast they can charge or discharge. 
which can sort of make them pretty OP. I definitely want the Mark II Adaptive Armor. Maybe I don't care that much about buffing our laser damage first. We need another like hundred of each type of tech card. It's actually reaching the end of the belt, even though these ones don't have rocket tech cards right now. It's weird. I think it's probably because we get rocket tech cards in bursts, because each recipe does eight at a time. No prod modules? Not yet. I do want prod twos relatively soon. But first I want to play around with our current technology of power armor. And then I want to add whatever intermediate products we are going to put uh, in this base. I want to finish that. And once that's done, we'll make a mole. Slowly running out of blue tech cards because... I was going to say, yeah, 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 because we don't have sulfuric acid because we're short on petroleum. The jetpack lowers your shield strength, so that's going to slowly drain batteries. Uh, are you talking about how when you move around it drains shields? Because that doesn't happen with adaptive armor. At least, that's how it worked with regular space exploration. Okay. Uh, did I finish handcrafting that? Fantastic. What do we get? Oh my goodness, that looks weird. Uh, what do we get out of this? 30 megajoules. I can't remember how much we get out of vanilla batteries. 30 megajoules seems like quite a bit. Max output is only 1 megawatt, so it wouldn't be able to support a personal laser by itself. Like, even for a little while. So, we definitely want to go for the less energy hungry uh, personal laser SMG. 2.8 megawatts. I would need three batteries just to support this firing. We can try it. One, two, three, laser shield. Oh, and we could always use less jetpack, theoretically. As much as that would be heresy. One adaptive armor, steel processing unit, LDS. Processing unit, I think I'm already carrying. Steel. Yep, as soon as that research is done, we'll be ready. I guess I should make two more of these batteries at the very least. You can power yourself from the Tesla coil while killing bases. Hmm. I don't really want to have to do the power pole creep. But I suppose it's an option. How much would it take? It would take just over three batteries to support the personal laser doing its thing. Or is it like... No, it probably works like laser turrets where like... It charges up. Like it, it draws three megawatts while it charges up a shot. And then as long as it doesn't lose power, it's got its shot ready while it consumes minimum power consumption. Oh, we will actually be needing laser turrets. Can I handcraft those? Glass, quartz, and EC, plus what I'm carrying. 
glass and quartz are over here. Don't really need more than a stack, I imagine. Give me that glass. Actually, yeah, I'll grab it from where I can just grab a stack. And what did I just finish researching? Adaptive Armor Mark II. Should I make three of them? What do we get? 50 hit points. It's not a whole lot. But do we need a whole lot at this point? Probably not. On the other hand, I wouldn't mind having enough to keep up with the tick damage from radiation. Batteries. Whoops. Rip battery charge. And I could actually just swap the Tesla thing in and out as well. Adaptive armor. Fantastic. Oh, and we can already make the Tesla thing. How do we... Energy absorber. That is quite cheap. Tesla coil. Electronic circuit, copper cable, cable, and steel beam. Electronic circuit, copper, and away we go. Got the nice K2 solar, yeah. It's uh, shockingly good. Time for bed, have a nice rest of stream, and have a nice night, everyone. Burgers and fries, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the raid. Do you take care? Sixty kilowatts max consumption. Does that mean it's gonna charge us much slower than this uh portable solar panel with just one of these? Or does it, like... Well, let's see. It charges up electricity. Just like anything else, I guess. Two towers may not be placed too close together. I was actually hoping we could spam them. A little bit. So I'll take rid of... Uh, I'll get rid of the, uh... Wait, how much range does it have? Requires equipment grids that have an energy absorber. Two may not be two towers may not be close to place too close together. Energy capacity sixty megajoules. Consumption sixty kilowatts. Oh, I didn't put it in yet. Absolute dub. Oh. Oh, we get a nice indication of how much range it has. It's about what you might expect. It's not much. It's not like I can have one or two of these in the base. Uh, it is charging us up pretty quickly, though. Where's our power consumption? The Tesla coil. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's like peaking at 7.6 megawatts. So the 60 kilowatts is not exactly accurate. Um, but that's okay. Alright, so our batteries are charged. This actually holds charge as well, 5 megajoules. But it's not nearly as much as... Oh, wait. Okay, that's significant. Max output is 12 megawatts. So it's a much smaller battery. It's six times smaller as a battery 
than the big personal battery, but it has the function of absorbing from this, uh, and it outputs power literally 12 times as fast. Hmm. These don't, like, equalize, right? If I make myself a personal laser... Let's get some... Oh no, electronic components. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, they're bottlenecked on plastic. Uh, I've got the components. I need laser turrets. Laser turret. Small electric motors. Steel plate. Fantastic. The receiver decides the charge rate. 60 kilowatt is the passive draw. Yeah, I see. So I was just going to swap this out, but now we've got like another 5 megajoules here, plus it outputs way, way faster. So maybe instead of having so many batteries, maybe I have like two... Uh, hmm. Maybe I don't bother with the batteries at all and have like 15 megajoules of stored power. I want to see exactly how long this stored power lasts with a personal laser. Personal submachine laser defense. The thing is, if I have fewer than three batteries, uh, once this is empty, the laser won't work properly. <laughs> Oh, wow. It already drained the energy absorber. <laughs> okay. What I want to test is if I have, like, this kind of loadout. And the personal laser consumes a bunch of power. I don't think it rebalances the stored power in the batteries and the energy absorber. So we won't be able to, once this is empty, which will probably happen quite quickly, we won't be able to take advantage of, let's say we had just one big personal battery, which can't keep up with the laser. Uh, we wouldn't really be able to take advantage of that stored power properly, is what I'm thinking. Yep, so we're already there. That did not take very long at all. I don't think stored power is going to be enough to attack these biter bases. Not not really. The DPS of just one of these lasers is surprisingly good. Alright, let's try out... I, I think we're probably going to have to go to... Um, what is it called? Did we not research this yet? Portable nuclear reactor. That can give us 2.4 megawatts. That's quite good. What can our... This is only the tier 1. I haven't upgraded it yet. Small portable generator can only give us 200 kilowatts. This one can give us 540. That's not that bad. Hmm. Alright, let's try... Let's try portable generator bug 2. Needs nuclear fuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm trying the 
Mark II Portable Generator first. Laser just does less damage when not fed enough power. You don't normally power them fully either. Well, it's kind of a waste if we can't fully power it. Alright, instead of the energy absorber, let's put this in. Probably don't need quite as much jetpack as well. These have no minimum power consumption. It's all just stored energy. But we're just going to lose energy when we take hits, which is fine. So that gives us a whopping 7.5 shield regen per second. You could swap one big battery for two small and get more throughput, really. Size 1 by 2. Max output 500 kilowatts. Max output 1 megawatt. It's actually the same. Except you get faster input with the big battery. Also, you lose out on energy capacity. You get three times as much energy capacity and input, and twice as much max output for the same space. They changed it, I see. Alright. Oh, this is... Oh, that is such an awkward size. Oh, no. That's effectively 4x4. Four four. No. I wish I'd checked before. I just assumed this would be 2x2. Two two. Oh, that's terrible. I regret everything. Hmm. Well, I guess the only option at this tech level... To use power armor for combat is portable nuclear reactor. 2.4 megawatts, 4x4. Four four. four lasers, two jetpacks, two defense, one Tesla. Four lasers, two jetpacks, two defense, that's eight things. And one Tesla. But then we have no... We have like no storage. Using two of the tier one generators is almost the same. Seriously? 200 kilowatts, 540 kilowatts. Yeah, yeah and since this is, a f this is effectively 4x4, four four, with our current, like, grid size and options, it's like... You could get 800 kilowatts out of this instead. Bruh. Bruh, I want, I want my small portable back. <laughs> okay. Um, let's recharge, I suppose. Just drop, drop the generator next to the base and go killing. Yeah, I don't want to do it that way. What if we actually just use solar panels? 192 kilowatts, that's too slow. I mean, it's way more than enough to keep up with the shields, for example. Just the laser is way too thirsty. Um, alright, so... Also, if we have four of these, uh, 800 kilowatts, and then 1800 kilowatts if we have battery as well. We would need, like, more than 12 of the tier one. Yeah, no, it's not happening. All right, we need portable nuclear, which is a little bit unfortunate because we don't have any nuclear fuel yet. 
We haven't done anything with uranium. Should probably put some of this stuff... away for now. Wait, what? Oh no, the tier 1 attack... Uh... Lolilo, thank you very, very much for the 10 gifted subs. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. 35 in total, wow. I cannot thank you enough. Schnipper, Chesschak, Horsch, Asnari, uh, Tom, Arthi, Own Galaxy, Happens, Zimmy, and Mad Dame Salsa. Hope you enjoy. Must say I am enjoying the 8x8 on the thruster suit in my pure SE playthrough. Does the first thruster suit give you that much? Uh, Orlyman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I guess I'll stop playing around with power armor for the moment. Um... I need to mine rare metals, and I need to start start mining uranium. Can we at least keep up with the damage from uranium? You know what? I think... Nah, don't worry about it. I was going to say sniper laser, but that would be worse. Well, we can at least avoid taking damage from the uranium with this. Are we losing energy? We're not. Not during the day, anyway. Oh, we're slowly losing shields. Wait, weren't we losing less shields a second ago? Nope, never mind. So I think we've got like a minute or two before we actually take damage from this. That's fine, I can live with that. Uh, as long as I don't stand here too long, that is. I've actually got 57 electric drills on me now, that's... I don't remember sorting that out, but okay. We need sulfuric acid or something. We need chlorine for this. I have no idea how to make chlorine. Chlorine is lithium chloride plus water. Gives us lithium and chlorine. We can barrel it. Sand plus water makes hydrogen and chlorine. So the same way we make reasonably fast wood. Uh, I don't know what to do with the hydrogen, though. I know I can void it, um, but I would like to try and find a use for it first. Hydrogen and nitrogen makes ammonia. Hydrogen and oxygen makes water. Hydrogen and chlorine. Well, we want the chlorine. That circuit steel and copper, that's shockingly easy to make. How big is it? 4x4. 4 4, 2.4 megawatts. Fantastic. It can almost keep up with the laser by itself. So having that and like one battery uh, is going to keep the laser firing for quite a long time. I want to make it just just because. Oh, plastic's looking much better. Nice. We're getting there. Welcome, Horst. And get it done. And Darudi, good to see you again. The sniper laser defense is way worse than the SMG one, energy-wise. Yeah, it is. It's like 50% worse. We're already halfway done crafting this. Um, 
I presume we just still need sulfuric acid to mine uranium. Since we need that for the portable nuclear reactor. And this is something nice and familiar that we can get done. And it's going to take a while to get things going. Uh, why don't we get this done first? I should use my blueprint to lay this out. I should not stand here while I do that. We can use the navsat. Uh, this one? I might have to use some landfill. I'll definitely have to use some landfill if I want to get all of this. Wait, can we do bigger mines yet? Uh, electric drill mark two. Rare metals plus five steer gear, steer gear, steel gear wheels. I have a handful of rare metals lying around somewhere, I think. That's raw. I don't know how I got the refined stuff. I think maybe from some of the, uh, some of the meteorites, but it seems like they give us raw. I know I smelted some an age ago in the spaghetti starter phase, but... Oh, I got hit too. I really should set up the um, media defense installation. I need blue circuits consistently for that. Wait, no, the ammo is just on the bus. Alright, so much to do. Um, what do I do with raw, rare metals? Just throw it in a smelter. Pretty much. Can I get, let, let me just grab an electric smelter. We've got them automated over here because science. There they are. Can I not? Oh, it needs a recipe. Rare metals, rare metals. What's the difference? Uh, what is the difference? I don't think there is a difference. Wait, 10 raw rare metals makes 5 rare metals, 16 seconds. 5 enriched rare metals, okay, never mind. So I'm guessing I'm wasting it a bit by doing this recipe. But that's, that'll do for now. One is enriched, yeah, I got there eventually. How much do I need to make... Whatever it was I was trying to make. Uh, oh yeah, the better drills. Four for each. Alright, we've already got quite a bit. Uh, I need some steel gear, steel gear wheels. Let's grab them from here. And... Away we go. That's actually... How many am I making? Twelve. Oh, seventeen. Dope. I knew there was more than three clicks there. I think we're already done... smelting this. For the most part. Thirty-two. That's probably going to be enough. Electric Mining Drill Mark 3? I don't have one of those. Why is Pipette Tool giving me Electric Mining Drill Mark 3? Uh, it's actually the same size, but the area is larger. Alright, cool. Let's start here. And here, and I'll steal 
this. I guess I could have just done an upgrade planner. Probably. Create copy. I need to make the upgrade planner first. Uh, drill to drill. Upgrade this one. Fantastic. Okay. So we can go here, here, and so on. I should get some landfill. What's the best thing to make landfill out of at this point? I presume it's always going to be stone, but I could be wrong. Sand? 50 sand and 50 water. That sounds way more efficient than 50 stone. 200 sand. Uh, a, lot, a whole stack of anything that you want to get rid of. Yeah, 50 sand, 50 water. That's excellent. Uh, where do we conveniently have some sand? Where we're making glass? We're actually bottlenecked on the sand. Let's fix that. I need crushes. Automation core, copper, iron beam, iron gear. Autosave is already noticeably slower because we're scanning the planet. Which does not bode well for having to have a lot of territory exposed with the way core mining now works. Was it iron beam? I think. Yeah. And copper. I think I already have some. Alright, how many of these are we making right now? Three. Sand and water is super slow though. Uh, well, if I had set it up earlier, I guess I would have, that wouldn't have been a problem. Long arm in certain... Wait. Yes, like this. How fast? Why can't I? Oh, it, it doesn't use a recipe. Why are we taking from both sides like that? How fast does this consume stone? Three per second. I guess that's fine. Now we can check our rate. 37 per second, 15 stone per second. Oh, stone is looking rather slow now. Let's fix that. That's probably enough. Yeah, we're no longer bottlenecking on this. We are bottlenecking on this once that runs out, though. How's our stone mine? 22k. Uh, I guess I could upgrade that. Let's grab some red. Not enough jetpack. Build more jetpack. There's my little not the mole. That's gonna be more than enough. Let's stack this stuff away. Grab our red belt. Upgrade these. That probably should have been like that. At least until we have another belt. Wait, what? Oh, I did it backwards. Pack go burr. 
We're down to less than a stack of jetpack fuel. I should probably fix that. Oops. I was hoping running the red belt over that would upgrade it. Alright, so what's our actual rate of stone from here? Oh, so many of those are empty. Only 16. Let's go fix it. And we'll pick up some free drills while we're at it. That's probably going to be fine. And... That is, that is actually all it takes. That's still connected? No. easier to see how many drills we've got left this way. Alright, so what's our throughput? 23.4 doesn't seem too bad. If you put more jetpacks in your armor, does it increase your speed? Yes. Basically. Uh, there's a diminishing return, but yes. Uh, alright, so we've got plenty of, well, we might have plenty of these drills. Oh, that's right, I was going to sort out landfill. And I was thinking of stealing sand from somewhere we've already got. Just how slow is that recipe? 0.5 seconds? That's not slow. In fact, it's faster than stone to landfill. What? Okay. Is this going to bottleneck on the belt the way we've set it up? Uh, 37.5 over 2 is more than half of a red belt, so yes. Except this one can output to both sides, except it's going to block these ones. Can I actually fit outputting this properly? I think I can. So something like... How much do we get from two? 7.5, because we're going to do it on both sides. So that's actually one of these. But then... Let's not do it this way. Yeah, let, let's just do it properly. Are we going to have trouble fitting the input? I don't think so. Just do it like that every time? Does that actually... Yes, it does. Perfect. Perfect fit. Let's move these. Copy, paste, flip. 
Long arms. And power poles. Fantastic. Now we actually have to build it. I guess this one doesn't actually need those shenanigans. Once more with feeling. Oops. Fantastic. Okay, so, so this is less than 30, right? No, it's not. Uh. So that sand is being used over here as well. I guess it doesn't matter if this is red or not now that I think about it. Alright, let's upgrade like the front view of these. That should be all it takes. Because it's only a bit more than 30 to begin with. Nice. Placing things by hand so uncivilized. Uh speedrunning practice. That's what that's what that is. Yep. We have a sad inserter. Is it oh I see. Why is that one pet? Oh, I see. I see. Fantastic. Uh, I think the stone isn't getting to the end, but the sand is saturated anyway. Do we have water? Oh, we do have water and sand next to each other already. Nice. Let's put this over here. And landfill but with water. How fast do we need to sand? Set seventy five per second. Really? Fifty sand. 0.5 seconds. Wouldn't that mean 100 per sec? Oh, because this crafting speed is 0.75. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of fast. Okay. In that case... In that case... I'll just limit it to like 30 per second if it even if it'll even produce that fast. Just the leftovers after the glass. And steel and power. And box. Don't have a box? Since when? I, th 
think we're going to need... Wait, how fast is this? Well, it's going to be bottlenecked on the sand anyway. No, it's only 1.5 per second. The inserter will do fine. We're actually consuming a lot of glass as well now. How much landfill do I need to make this work? Landfill. Let's pretend I just spray it all over the place here. We're looking at like 250. Hmm. And we've got a whopping 18 so far. Uh, probably a good idea to get another supply of stone. I'm actually regretting building over this patch now. I didn't think we'd run out of this one so quickly. We do have 2.1 million over there. Guess we need to go get ourselves another mine. Such a relaxing stream on a Sunday morning. Thanks for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. Aren't you out of sand feeding it all the way? A uh, little bit, yeah. I'm not overly concerned about getting it at the max rate. Could switch to pulverizers for making sand. Uh, yeah, they're faster, but we won't be getting any more. Like, we're bottlenecked on the stone, ultimately. Speaking of... Stone. Why do I have... It's only like four landfill. I'm not taking it back just yet. Oh, we've finished our research? Oh, this has... This is a prerequisite for a few things. I was going to say, Discharge, Defense, Lamal. Actually, is this... Did this get buffed? Is this actually decent now? I still don't see myself using it, especially needing an extra inventory slot for the Discharge remote. Cargo safety, rocket survivability... Space belts. Advanced lab. A more efficient lab. Incompatible with basic tech cards. Okay. It's a little bit hard to see where the stone ends. Much easier to see it on the map. There's a little bit down here as well. Inventory full. Doop a doop. I can't even see this bit of stone. It's right next to me. There it is. Seventy six stone. Well, you know we gotta hoover that up. Let's grab our blueprint. And... I don't think if I use the better drills it's gonna cover these. Nope. So something like this, perhaps? Vlad the Impulsive, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's build this sucker. Wait, how many drills do I need? 
112. That's probably more than I have. But we don't need these ones at all, actually. There's like one bit of stone here to get rid of. I'm sure we've got a bunch of empty drills lying around somewhere. Let's just get started. Don't need that one. Easy click and drag with the red belts, which luckily I have a lot of in my inventory. Getting a bit low on fuel, I'd better sort that out. Actually, I know what I can do. That's not what I was looking for. Fuel processor, coal, get out of my inventory. Fantastic. Finish the power poles and belts if I can. Actually, it depends how much. It's probably going to take like 100, 200. Oh, that stone as well. Well, that would have been easier to add to our stone mine. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Not going to lose any sleep over that one. Definitely not crying right now. Alright. How many drills do we have here? Including the ghosts. 95. Uh, so it won't last for long, but we would get two belts. Two red belts. Well, for now I think we'll just bring one red belt. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Research is flying by, though. How are we for the CME? We've only got 10 hours, actually. When did that happen? How's our steam? Uh, we've actually got a lot of steam. Yeah, we're gonna have enough steam by the time the CME comes. But I've got, like... Like, 200 plus steam turbines that I need to build before that happens. CME, a uh, coronal mass ejection shack. So when the big energy beam uh, attacks us because the sun is having a having a moment those CMEs can be sneaky. Yeah. Using steam during the night, though. I've got a, uh, a circuit. So basically we've got all of the steam engines, uh, not to mention the electric boilers, uh, on their own power network. We power it when this accumulator is full. And we switch it off if the accumulator drops below 80%. Uh, and I was actually going to also have... I guess I could just change the condition on this. Uh, I wanted to have a manual power switch in case I want to draw on this in some kind of emergency. 
Silly CMEs reminding us time exists, indeed. Why did that not... Do I have no underground reds? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, for the moment, let's drag our belt back. Actually, I want to run it past... Let's plan this a little bit. Now that we've got the navsat, it's easy to do. Maybe here. It's actually already going to run past the stone mine here very conveniently. And I don't want to build too close to that oil. So how about something like this? Fantastic. Actually, I should probably use undergrounds for most of this. Whoops. Thirty-two fuel. Oh, I forgot to pick up my fuel. Where did I put it? That's a whole stack. Nice, Sue. Worse, you have one? Yeah, that is worse. I don't know how it happened. I don't think any undergrounds got destroyed. Oh, that's so close to perfect. 1% off. We wasted 1% of a processed fuel somewhere. Oh, somehow. Alright, let's go get everything else we need for this. Would be even easier with construction bots? Never. Besides, they're incredibly slow for now. Uh, we can do one level of each of these. Space fluid handling. Oh, it's space pipes. And decontamination facility. Space science pack. And I believe that will be the end of what we're able to research on the ground. That came up surprisingly quickly. Oh, that's a lot of stone. Let's uh, put that where it needs to go. Using to split a two item belt into one item is useful. Two item belt into one item. Keep trying to play K2 and S S E, but end up going back to my original map. Why is that? Doop doop. How much uh, landfill did we get? Eighteen. <laughs> Lol. Uh, we need some more drills as well. Well, I'm not as concerned about the drills for the moment. Space capsule refurbishment. Compromised space capsule. So it's a repair job. Okay. What did I come back here for? Alzheimer's? COVID brain? Red underground belts. All of them, please. And most of these, just in case. I just enjoy it more at the beginning of a new Factorio game, really. Fair enough. I did K2 with a couple of friends. It made it much better. Yeah, I could see that. Many hands. Especially because you can somewhat divide the labor into the tasks that you prefer to work on. Uh, what are we doing? 
I needed underground belts. I would like to have some more miners. Iron, copper, and stone brick. Fantastic. Close enough. I'm not that worried about the crafting time this time. And more importantly, now I have to put these here manually. So much for the easy click and drag. Are we done? That one tile of stone is not going to get mined. Unless... Also this one. How rude. How many drills do I have? Uh, eight. That's not a lot. We'll come back to this, I guess. More important to get it working first. Big power poles. I've actually got more than a stack. Where are we going? Fantastic. And before the stone gets here, too late. One off. pretend like this was deliberate. It's actually perfect. merge this old stuff in like this and get out of the way of the other belt. Oops. That's not quite right. Do. And I guess we may as well add one more belt here. Oh, that fits perfectly. That, not so much. I should make this a bigger box. I guess I just need to see stone reach the end of that belt. It is moving. I think it's getting bottlenecked through... Why is there a red belt on there? 
Well, I'm glad I put the filter there anyway. Red, red, red. Red and red. Oh, well, there's your problem. Nice suit. There it is, indeed. That's a long way for a red underground. Uh, yeah, K2 does that. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The planning area is called Lab. Uh, yeah, if it, if you mean the mod, it's called Editor Extensions. Uh, and if you go to Mod Settings, Per Player, under Editor Extensions, the last setting is Testing Lab. Just change that to anything other than Off. And if you don't want to cheat, uh, disable inventory sync. I thought I saw it on the belt, but then it never went along the single belt. The the bit of red belt that got stuck here. I think that's it. We've got nothing left we can research until we go to space. Feels weird that we did this before even building any rail network at all. Satellite discovered a new moon. Have we found any... We've only looked at Calidus, that's kind of what I was expecting. Uh, let's look at what we've got. Planet-wise, in our solar system. We've got Nalvis, of course. It says Nalvis's type is crude oil, but it shows the core fragment there. Radius is 5.692k. Is it always exactly that? Grenus is a vulcanite, nice and close to the sun. We got our crude oil moon that's really small and really close. Another one like that with rare metal. It's only 818. Uh, rare metals again, 2.9, basically 3k. Sage is mineral water at 4.2k. Vetamelange 2.5 is moss garden. That's a good name for it. Rubik is 2.1k copper ore. Nice. I don't think we had... No, I'm sure we didn't have any like iron or copper core fragment planets in our system last time. We got beryl. 905 radius, that is very small. Uh, Calidus, wait, no, uh, Hyperion. Rare metals, 6k. Well, that's three rare metal planets. Iridite, 3.2k. Cryonite, 1.1. We've got a very big copper core, uh, copper ore planet right here. That's nice. What about biters? We've got zero on Granus. Very nice. Uh, nothing except for biter medias on Eshu. Zero on Elusis. Zero on Sophurna. Zero on Sage. Uh, not many, but we've got Biden Medias, of course, because of Vidomelange. 17% on Moss Garden. Rubik is also 17%. Waterless Barrel Planet is at 3%. It's also very, very small. The moon, that is. 7% uh, for our really good rare metals planet. That's not much. 7% for... Bill. 3% for Zakok. This is so far ridiculously 
good RNG unless they changed it. Zero percent threat on the on the huge copper ore planet. Well, this is this seems like a ridiculously good start. Although, uh, what do we got? Iridite. We've got vulcanite, iridite, bryonite, vitamelange, beryl. What am I missing for, like, exotic resources? Um, let's see. Uh, holmium. Yeah. We'll have to go interstellar for holmium, most likely. But that's... That's literally it. Out of the relatively basic, um exotic materials that's the only thing that we're going to have to leave the solar system to get ore fragments for and i'm guessing we've got holmium somewhere with temporary mines yeah here we go holmanite on elusis uh although that's rather small oh let me do the display how do you do it again resources that's a bit squinty. Uh, Sage has quite a lot of Holmanite, actually. The Copper Planet, the big one with no biters, actually has quite a lot of Holmanite as well. And I don't even know for a fact if we've discovered everything in the solar system yet. Discovered locations can be viewed... Yeah, we haven't. Exor... Exorion. Is that in another system? Exorion. Did I miss it? Parent is... Sage. I don't want to view surface. I'll just have to delete it. Sage. Oh yeah, it's here. Exorian. It's a moon next to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well... We're gonna be able to go a long way without any interstellar... travel. Hmm. How about that? There's our stone that I was waiting for. And we are accumulating stone. Good to see. I think we probably need to unbottleneck these belts. We need this much stone actually, but whatever. I want to see it saturated as soon as possible. There we go. And sand is pouring in to our landfill, and we're already more than halfway uh, to filling out as much as we could possibly need to do our uranium mine. Okay, um, I should probably put these shields back on. If you don't know, you will later. You will later? Is your asteroid belt beryl or methane? Asteroid belt. We've only got one asteroid belt that we can see so far. Last time I had two, so I'm not counting on that we've found everything so far, but this one is beryl. Nice. Alright, let's grab some uranium. Or at least make a start toward that end. Actually, once I finish placing some of these drills, um, I'll set up 
media defense installations because it's about time. Oh, there's a tree there. Or rather a twig. What? It's kind of random, depending on the timing, if I can do a little jump or not. That's actually covered already. I've run out of these drills for the moment. Okay. We will be needing sulfuric acid. Where do I have it? It's I'm producing it way up here. We're pumping it down here. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a mod that I haven't tried yet. I think. Uh, pipe, uh, fluid network visualizer or something? Did I actually include that? Where do I find it? Maybe I didn't include it. I definitely meant to. Should we throw it on? Probably. Let's give this a save. Is it in the overflow for your toolbar? Uh, jackhammer? What the heck is that? What? No reachable tiles? Jackhammer? Uh, p toggle pipe visualizer. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Alright, we should probably... Oh, this is as many things as I can have, so I need to get rid of... Informatron, I always reach up here. Nabsat, same deal. Also, I press N for that. Uh, what else? What's this? Star map. Creep collector. I know the shortcut. Toggle map editor. I should probably blend the shortcut. Control E. It's the same as like editor mode. What do we got? Rate calc, tree x ray, calculator, auto trash, module inserter. Um, I use shortcut keys for all this other stuff. And. Control P is a bit awkward to reach for. Toggle hover, hover over pipe visualizer. I'll give that a try as well. Hover over. That's a little bit harder to see, I think. More than a little. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, I think I'll be using it this way. Yeah, yeah, that's much better. That is so helpful. Alright, so sulfuric acid. That's petroleum. Sulfuric acid is yellow. And we can see very, very clearly um, that this is all of it. This is where it goes. So, to that end, I guess I can't... No, I actually can, like, plan this while I do that. It's not going to show anything new while I just do ghosts, though. Where are we going? Too far to the right for now? Pipe visualizer or something? Yes, indeed. Where are we going? How about this? Where is it? And then here. That lines up fairly well. Uh, 
Uh, and we'll need something to... Connect like so, actually. Something like that. Should probably take a little break soon. Alright, uh, how much steel pipe do I have? Not enough. Let's go fix that. Just to see nothing but colored lines in space, need to add that. Oh, yes, yes, I see what you mean. Is there a specific reason you are running KS and SE together? Uh, mostly because I finished SE already, and I wanted the next run to be sufficiently different, uh, apart from it being updated to 0.6. Uh, but also, K2 adds some fun stuff especially for later game as well. All right, let's steal some steel. We can actually get a pretty good idea of the the health of the steel belt. Like I'm I'm actually kind of appreciating how this likes to output on the left first. Uh but it also still functions as like a lane balancer if necessary. Because Seeing that the left side is saturated and we have this much coming through on the right side, we've got like a really clear visceral estimate of what our steel throughput looks like. Oh, I gained altitude, therefore I picked up the coal instead, because the altitude is like fake. Whoops. More steel pipe, please. That's probably enough, actually. But I'll take some more. And then, actually, even more steel pipe. Actually, I don't think it makes any difference. Except for aesthetically. I, I, I don't think there's any difference between pipe and steel pipe. The container size is slightly larger, but... If we're squeezing it through the same number of containers... Is the throughput rate going to be the same eventually? Any advice on settings for starting a new map? Um... If you want to save time, give yourself lots of resources. It only applies to Nalvis, from what I understand. So it won't affect... For, for an SE run, it won't affect that much of your playthrough. Um, just the quote-unquote early game. Alright, let's go place these pipes. Uh, where am I putting them? There we go. Oh. Right, we're still short on sulfuric acid because we're short on petroleum. But since we've stopped research, that state of affairs shouldn't last too much longer. And we fall out of the sky because our shields take a small amount of radiation damage. Whoops. Up we go. All right. I guess we can check this with uh, Pipe Visualizer. Something's busted. I think. No? 
It's definitely connected, but I think because fluid hasn't actually been in here yet, uh, it shows it as white. Whereas, even though this is empty, it's showing it as yellow. Huh. Alright, what can we do about our sulfuric acid throughput? We can try to fix petroleum. I think we need to get another... No, most of these oil pump jacks are sitting idle. Like half of them at least. Hmm. Uh, I guess I have room to expand that out again. Let's make some more refineries. I actually finished with the steel pipe already, but my inventory is going to explode. Let's get ready to dump it into this chest. Cancel all of that. In you go. I'll take a stack. Now it's yellow already. Uh, so it is. I don't think we've had any sulfuric acid here yet. Yeah, no. We'll need to run some power, of course. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Want to know a Factorio horror story? Yes. I decided to turn my city block train network to LTN. It was vanilla. It was vanilla before. So where, what part of the horror are we talking about here? I can no longer fall asleep. Uh, let's see, I've got... Oh, I need refineries. Glass and small electric. Glass is flickering, we don't have any storage. We don't need a whole lot though. I'll take a stack. Or two. And I'll take some... Oh, well, that's enough landfill. For what we need down here. I think I ran out of those drills as well. Um, small electric motor... Why can I only make two? Because I need stone brick. There's no... There's no stone brick. Uh-oh. Time to upgrade those furnaces. Because I know we're not having trouble with stone. What else? I think that's probably enough refineries, but I would rather make a few too many. know my way around my own base. Fantastic. And then we need steel beam, small electric motor. I'm surprised this has been saturating small electrics uh, the whole time. Same goes for a few of these other builds that I left room to double. Nice. Alright, let's plan this out. Uh, why don't I go to the editor for this? I should just make a... Pardon me. I should just make a blueprint already. Um... 
Let's grab some green wire. So that part's going to be consistent. Outside? What? I will have to visit the outside world now. Uh-oh. Zavoxifol, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, can we blueprint this so that it repeats properly? Perhaps. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. Budgie bum, welcome, welcome. Doing good, thanks you. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, snap to grid relative, and I want it centered around this thing. Width is... Wait, what am I doing? That's height. Oh, no. Uh, width is like, what, five? Six, seven? No, six. No, that's definitely not right. It's got to be at least twelve because this isn't consistent. So that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes there. Uh, is this it? Let's find out. Nope. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Goofy. Good to see you again. Well. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why don't I just do that? What is this? Six each? Goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there. That looks a bit inconsistent. It's going to look that way either way. Alright, let's try again. Select new contents. Does it matter where this is? Probably not. And then click drag that. I think, apart from the missing bits of pipe there, That might be our blueprint. Wire is connected. Wire is not connected. LTN is amazing, but switching over can be a pain. Yeah, I've never actually switched over. I did it from the start of last playthrough. That was my first time using LTN. And... Through here as well, I suppose. Oh, there's not going to be... No, that should be fine. Couldn't actually see if you did that. Yay, where is it? Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Uh, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Alright. New contents. Delete this. Click and drag. And wire is all connected. This pump controls cracking heavy to light. These two pumps control cracking light to petroleum. S input for both types of fluid is all connected. I think that's it. Let's put that in our K2SE thing. I guess I'll just put it here for now. And I keep reaching for that shortcut, but there's a shortcut key that's easily reachable and rememberable. Although I think it, I think the control E is bringing up FNEI. Maybe that's why I wasn't using it. 
Uh, anyway, let's grab our blueprint and decide where we want to put this. Probably about here. And we can stretch that out more or less indefinitely. LTN is cheating, my clat, indeed. In a single player game, there's no such thing as cheating, yeah. You pick your own difficulties with the game settings. I don't think we even need steel pipe to reach across here. I have ten refineries. If I mouse here, yeah, it's not going to line up. What is... I think that lurch has something to do with the scanning that we're doing. We're getting close to revealing all of Nalvis. There's no biter expansion, so... Uh, there's not that much reason not to do it already. I can't remember why I was going to scan the entirety of Nalvis, actually. Oh well. I actually built more refineries than I realized. That might be enough to bottleneck on the pump jacks. Maybe. Just possibly. I'm going to need a lot more storage tanks, actually. Hmm. Maybe if I was going to build this this big, I should have... should have made a system that pumps all the fluid somewhere so we can have a more centralized storage because of the way fluid works in this game. Uh, let's go grab some steel so I can start making those large storage tanks. It's pretty much just steel plate and steel beam. And I'm already co uh, already holding the beams, some of them. How many beams do we need per thing? One tenth of a stack. Okay. So I can make a fifth of a stack with one stack, as far as the beams go. Same with the steel plate, actually. How many of these would I need? Two stacks. I'm sure we'll have enough pretty soon to bottleneck on the pump jacks that we've got. Oh, and how's our oil supply? It's down to 4.2 million. Alright, that is not running out that quickly. It's not as scary as I thought. Uh, that's iron beam. Wait, what? Oh, here it is. Steel beam is right next to iron beam. I really just can't keep up with everything with this base. Whenever really... Uh-oh. Uh... I didn't Reminders bring my refueling thing. Oh no. Killer. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Should I... I guess I'll build what I can, since we're basically already here. Yeah, I forgot to bring the fuel processor that I was carrying. I could turn some wood into processed fuel for the jetpack.
refueler is by the belt machine still? Yeah. Is it back over here or... No, I think it's like here-ish, right? There it is. And 66 processed fuel. So it's as far back as where I could always pick up processed fuel anyway. Poles down. Uh, mid? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we still launching rockets? Uh, yes, but no. I mean, we're very, very slowly still launching rockets, just like before. Oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm carrying uranium. Uh-oh. Uh, magic trick. If we put it in a chest, it can't hurt us. Is that the last of these that I can make for now? Yes, it is. Got plenty of chem plants. Don't have any pumps. We should have quite a bit of pipe. Luckily, we can walk through these. Regular underground pipes reach that far. And we're out. Still got lots of undergrounds. Which means what? I, I was thinking I could make one of these. I'd need 10 iron plate. Wait, can I do 10 iron plate right now? I've got 28. I need... Th the Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I can, uh... I can cook up some iron. And in the process, apparently use all of the fuel, actually. Okay, we've got seven wood remaining. I actually only got 59 plate from that. Uh, but I only needed 10. How far can seven wood take us with our jetpack? You're joking! No! We've got twigs here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter that we got to 96% of a processed fuel. How dare you. Alright. We got two processed fuel. How far do you think we'll get? Up and away? Oh wow, that is so much worse than I was expecting. 
That's surprisingly expensive. Maybe I should have... I only had one jetpack in here. I think the thruster suit has one built in, but still. Yeah, I guess, uh... Fuel kind of expensive, though. We've been hit again. Oh, that happened a while ago. At least we've got fast belts to run on. Maybe I shouldn't use undergrounds all the time for stuff like this. Just in case I run out of fuel again. Alright. So we're just gonna take five stacks of fuel. And we needed a bunch of pipe and a bunch of steel. My inventory is full. Not anymore. I love that shift C feature. It does throw away stuff that I don't necessarily want to throw away sometimes, but the benefit outweighs the uh, downside. All right, steel. Maybe I should, you know what? I know exactly what to do. Let's copy this. Control E. Uh, steel plate greater than, let's say, let's be generous, let's say a thousand. Why are we getting, okay, why is it still costing that much time to do the scanning sometimes? And why did it just do a ton all at once, more to the point? I think those two questions are related. Is it, it's not because I just came back from this mode, right? I don't think so. Alright. We're still going to get half of our steel throughput even when this is stopped. That is actually accumulating surprisingly quickly. It does a certain number of chunks in parallel. Interesting. Isn't it UPS locked? It won't drop below 60? Uh, it just did, though. <laughs> like, we, we basically have 60 except for when the chunk... Uh, except for when the scanning and therefore chunk generation does a whole lot all at once. Alright, how many of these can I make? Only 10... How many do we need? A million? About 75 if I want to build that whole thing out. You can wreck your frame rate if you turn up the scanning speed. Oh, it's in mod settings? Uh, scan? Crustorio 2? No, should be space exploration, right? Space exploration. Uh, I'm not seeing anything searching for scan. Space explor. I can't change anything here. Oh, that's startup. I think scan put us on start. Uh, searching for scan put us on startup. There we go. Scan search budget. Number of chunks that can be checked for chart status. High, high values let it speed through already scanned chunks to get to the uncharted edge. Huh? Scan chart budget. Satellite scanning the number of chunks requests that can be added to the charting buffer in parallel. New chart requests won't be made if the previous chunks have not 
finished. Uncharted edge equals edge of planet. Max scan range. Oh, so it doesn't scan forever if you scan somewhere like an uh, asteroid field. It goes to the limit of the biggest planet, but it's a square. Scan alert interval. Surface scan update alerts. Uh, so which one of these is going to let me bottleneck the satellite scanning so that we don't get lurching? Scanning asteroid belts actually does the smart thing and just scans horizontally. Number of chunks chunk requests that can be added to the charting buffer in parallel. That's probably it, right? Checked for chart status. You know what? I'm just going to take a zero off of both of these and see what happens. I presume we're going to see our scanning get just a little bit slower. That is quite a lot slower. I might adjust that again later, but for now we're just going to do a little test uh, if if we're not going to get any more lurching like that until I change it back, then we know that's done something. Ten is already low. Lower the budget and frame rate should be fine. Frame rate? Frame rate. Scan alert interval. Scan search budgets. Chart budget. I still don't understand the difference. Another option is to just speed it up massively and let it finish. No, I want the opposite of that. I, I want it to go slow enough that we don't notice it. Unless I'm like... AFK playing off stream or something. I forgot to bring what we need to get pumps. Whoops. Oh, that's bad. Don't do that. The autosave already takes so much longer. This is not going to bode well for coal mining where we're not going to be able to trim surface to a small amount on each planet. Are there any more, any more options under per player for scan? Uh, yes. Default timescale. New sub-factory should be created with. What? Oh, that's factory planner. Space exploration, snap blueprint, spaceship clamps. I think that's fuzzy search doing its thing. You don't want to tap every fissure on every planet anyways. You don't have to want to go that far. Um, like just getting a decent amount into diminishing returns. The size of the area that has to be revealed is going to be much, much larger than it used to be. goes here. Uh, that's not an underground, actually. Let's put these here so I don't get confused. I 
Maybe I will get some construction bots. This is at a scale that I didn't expect to be building at yet. We need some power. Does that reach? One off? No, we're good, we're good. That doesn't have power either, because that's a ghost. There we go. Are they all working? Nope, there's more ghosts over here. I've run out of medium poles. Okay. Got plenty of those back at base. I might make an auto crafter as well. Might simplify the mole process more than a little bit. Although, I still haven't quite solved the problem of prerequisites in a way that satisfies me. Maybe this time. getting there. Let's go back and get our pumps and power poles. You just want like five to six. I'm sure it won't be as small as it used to, but it was basically cheating before. Wait, what are we talking about? You don't want to tap... oh, the coal mining drills. I mean, it's not that it was basically cheating, like, you'll get it set up sooner or later regardless. It's just going to take up more space and make the save take much, much longer. At least it doesn't affect UPS that much, just having a bunch of empty space. I don't think. Uh, what are we doing? Pumps? I should get a whole stack. Small electric... And that's already quite a lot. Steel. Fantastic. That was surprisingly easy. Uh, let's grab some steel. And make more of these. That's going to be a lot of steel beams that we have to handcraft. I need like, what was it, five stacks per stack, or something, about that. Okay, and we should probably already have enough pie. Probably. Oh, what's my fuel? 171. Okay, okay, that's... Considering I had like 500 a little while ago, that's surprisingly low, but still, it's not panic mode, just... I forgot the medium poles, didn't I? You saw nothing. I want more speed. Give me just like one shield, just in case. 
power poles with lights on them. Fantastic. Alright. Can I? Surely I can't click and drag like that with the pumps. down here. Pretty hard to mess up this timing. Could do it with the jetpack actually. Um, I think I built this further than I needed to. How many of these do we have? Only five so far. Let's concentrate on finishing the other stuff. Fantastic. What the? What? Wait, what? Why? Oh, I see what it's doing there. Because it's trying to drag a line to the left. Okay. Fill out the stuff that is missing. What's this? Grief. If this doesn't saturate our petroleum, then I'll have to get some more petroleum. What do we need here? Another approximately 26. That is about what we're crafting, almost. With LTN, if a provide station provides a full train wagon of goods, can you still request, let's say, fewer items? Yes, absolutely. Or will it unload a full wagon? It depends. Um, if you want it to only unload a full wagon, set the request threshold to a full train. Um, but if you set it lower, you might get a smaller delivery. Uh, Lo-Fi, thank you for the follow. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. And the provide and request thresholds are basically independent of each other. Um, so the provide threshold is simply how much stuff has to be there before the station is considered to be available, and the request threshold is how much space there has to be um, for a certain resource, like how much has to be lacking according to the signals um, before it will schedule a delivery. You need to configure it to unload and load correctly, otherwise it will fill up your smelters with green circuits like me. Um, I'm sure there's a way to make that happen, yes. Uh, gonna need the beams again. How many more of these? Almost there. 
Okay. What else was I coming back for? Chemical plants. So, glass. I was going to say, please tell me we've got some glass in here. Which we do. It was actually saturated. What else? Stone brick. No stone brick. Oh, I can use the navsat to cheat wire now. That's nice. Brick has to be greater than a thousand. Oh, and I was going to upgrade these uh, furnaces as well, but I didn't get around to it. You know what? It's not going to take very long. Let's do it now. And I need 16. Stone brick and stone furnace. Oh, how many am I crafting? Seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. Uh, I guess I'll come back when that's done. Alright. Chemical plants? Oh, I only crafted one. You absolute derp. Uh, how many do I need to finish this? Ten. Why don't we do the whole thing and do the refineries as well? What else do I need? Small electric. Fantastic. Stone brick again. And one more of these, I think. Pipe and small electric. I've actually got one pipe in my inventory. Okay. That should be more than enough of everything queued up. Unless you have the setting that lets trains do multiple trips before stopping at depot. I didn't know that was possible. plant? No. Should I cancel these for the moment? We're going to have inventory issues if I do. What else are we missing? Basically nothing. Yeah, basically nothing. Uh, how's the oil? How are the pump jacks? They're all working. So we, we've probably overdone it now. 576 crude oil per second. Uh, and we're capable already of doing 580 per second. Okay. Uh, I guess I could just pump some out from over there if I don't want it to bottleneck on that. But that's actually surprisingly close um, to a really good ratio. Alright, here we go with our chemical plants. So how do you make LTN trains make multiple trips before returning to depot? Oh, I didn't put... I never put this in either. Let's have a play with that. Yep, that works just like the other generator. 
Except it's bigger and it needs uranium fuel cells. I think there's a setting where it will take a new request the moment it unloads. Interesting. And this will already be overkill, but who cares. Oh, uh, actually, now that I think of it, does this consume crude oil slower than this? Nope, they're exactly the same. But if we start churning out prod 2s... Well, we don't have the prod 2s yet, so why don't I actually more of these recipes, because we'll actually be getting more petroleum that way. And it's mo it's almost all petroleum that we need. Like pick up circuits and then drop off in two places. Ha. Huh. Well, if that were possible without changing settings, I think I... Well, with my long trains last run... I never would have done that. Bonk? Heavy oil cracking missing underground pipes. Was that it just there? Uh, pink pajamas? Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a little bit more. There's a little bit more pinkish purple on the map. I think it's just these four more pipes. One. Two, three, four. Fantastic. Oh, we can do a decon planner. Oh, decon ghost planner. We're not finding anything. There we go. Okay, let's pick up our stuff. And find that indeed we are short on inventory space. I'm just going to make a stack of these. And that solves that problem. Now we may actually, in theory, possibly begin to accumulate some petroleum someday. I can dream. Alright, let's get uh, media installations done. I need a hundred processing units, though, for each one. That's a little bit much. It's not that bad, but it's a bit much for... Oh, I don't have the rare metals yet. I do have a few random rare metals from asteroids that I can put in here. Uh, but other than that, that's the reason I hadn't made that many blue circuits yet. What's our rate here? It's quite slow. Those yellow inserters will be fine. Uh, let's get the uranium going, actually. Alright, so we've already got this. Oh, we got sulfuric acid. It just needs power. Nice. That's why we were chasing petroleum. Yeah, this is looking much better. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, do we have Coverex yet? You're joking. We gotta get into space to get Coverex? That's so rude. Uh, I'm going to need an enormous storage if I want to play with uranium fuel cells a little bit. Okay, I see how it is. Let's, let's put on some more adaptive armor. Oh, also, I forgot to swap that stuff out. Um... Batteries, jetpacks, armor. Yep, 
had my exact reaction when I found out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of that. Uh, I don't know if it's K2, but there was a lot of that... Those kind of changes going from 0.5 to 0.6. Just anti-quality of life in... Not just the early game, but... You know, the first 200 hours or something. Um, let's belt this up here. I forgot to bring the landfill, which I already got. And I forgot to place the power poles. Whoops. You know what? Let's go get the landfill. Three stacks will be more than enough. It's right here, don't worry about it, it's fine. It's all SE, I think. It wasn't like that with 0.5 plus K2. Yeah, I wouldn't really expect it to be. K2's philosophy seems to be to give you fun toys, not to take them away. Oh yeah, we've got nice fill. Oh, that looks so much nicer. No pun intended. Uh, so that can go there. That can go there, I guess. That's already covered. That's already covered, I think. Yes, it is. And like so. Should be fine. We're only down to half shields. Don't worry about it. Alright. Let's take a little break. And once more into the fray. Uh, those are already going to be connected. Oh. Power poles will go here. And that'll pretty much do it. Whoops, that's yellow belt. Need to manually replace this. Got the power poles up here. that. Got to actually place that pole before we do this. Same goes for this one. And last but not least, well actually last and least, if we're being perfectly honest. No, I should just bring this around here. All right. Out of the radiation, please. Seventy-five? What? It's not really anti-quality of life, it's just forcing you to learn to do complex builds without the bot crunch. We do complex builds later in the game, whether we have the bots or not. Like, there's, there's plenty of complex builds to be had in space exploration. To, to do enough of a main bus base that we would have the whole mall and everything nice and neat with no bots, um, you'd have to pre-plan the entire thing if we're just using belts. To, for that to not end up with much spaghetti would be basically impossible. Alright, let's run some power... Whoops. Oh, I can't fly till I get away from it. Oh, this actually already reaches. 
There we go, that's our first uranium. So we've got basic uranium processing. Let's grab some centrifuges. You should have some requester chests by now, unless it's random and I was lucky in my run. Uh, like up here? Requester chests. Oh. That's a single requester chest. That's a second one. Uh, well then. We still have to go to space to get them. Those are ruined. Oh, that's a buffer chest. Alright. Can we build a mole off of, like, two requester chests? Two or three, probably. I mean, more than likely. You have found weapon cache on Nalvis with the first rocket launch? Wait, what? Journal thingy. Weapons cache. You're joking. It's so close to our base as well. We got a request a warehouse and three request a strong and a railgun. Oh my lord. Alright. Missed it or never got it? Yeah, I did read the text when we got our first satellite done. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess we can start making a bit of a bot mall and not worry about finishing every, uh, every intermediate product that we're going to do here before we make one, otherwise it'll end up being a mess. A little reminder, indeed. Uh, we need some centrifuges, I need processing units for that. Uh, that's already done. Where am I doing that hacked together processing unit build? Oh yeah, we need metals. Rare metals. That's why. And I'll need to put those in some boxes. So we can make passive chests, so it's really just... We have, like, three chests that we can bring things to. Uh, all the more reason to make a Omnicrafter. I won't say I've perfected it before. I can make something that's, like, more than functional. But I would really like to come up with a way to handle n number of prerequisites for different recipes to get prioritized. Alright, uh, while that's crafting, let's go get that railgun. Not to mention the requester chests. I'm actually more <laughs> I'm actually more excited about the requester chests at this point. Where is it again? Journal, weapons cache. How do I close this? There we go. Uh, it's straight left from the old spaghetti base, basically. Like a crafter that changes recipe? Yes. Uh, we do have that mod, crafting combinator. We just have to feed it the right signals. There it is. Yoink. And away we go.
is that... Is this mine totally dead? I think it might be. That's our old coal mine. This one is... has a little bit left, but it's not got, like, input priority. Um, we can fix that. Input priority right. Output priority block this side. There we go. I guess I could just do this? Question mark? That actually works. Good to know. doing? Oh yeah, centrifuges. Centrifuges. I, need, I only need 20 processing units, but that's 20 processing units per centrifuge. Let's get some concrete heat shielding. I guess it's time to make a bunch of passive provider chests. And I guess it's time to make some robots. It's time to make too many things all at once, basically. It has been for a while. Uh, centrifuge. Heat shielding, steel, processing unit, big electric. Steel. Oh, wait, I have a, a box for the steel now. Big electric processing unit. Processing unit is quite close to the big electric, actually. Uh, inventory space, you say. I actually have two of these now. What have we got? 22 whole processing units. Hmm. Gotta start mining that uh, rare metals. Rare... Yeah, rare metals. Raw rare metals. Okay. Uh, centrifuge? What am I missing? Heat shielding still. Heat shielding. One centrifuge? Oh. I can make one whole centrifuge, actually. Cool. That's fine. Let's grab some speed modules, I guess. Give me those speed modules. Where'd they go? Just checked, can't see it mentioned anywhere, at least not under the two words I looked for. What are we doing? Nope, missed that one by a mile. I should definitely check on my walls a bit more often at this point. I think the biters, like, if I leave things as they are, the biters are going to overtake us. Uh, let's see. Centrifuge. Now, uh, one recipe. It sometimes spits out iron and stone. Uh, is 0.7% uranium a bit more generous than it used to be, or was it always like this? No, I think it actually was always like this. It's a reference to, uh, to something IRL. Uh, with the way that actually works. I, I don't think we're going to need all these belts to actually come here, but whatever. To 
talking about the freebie spaceship. I am avoiding words that would spoil what I'm looking for. I see. Yeah, I know of the freebie spaceship. In fact, someone did spoil it, and I very deliberately, like, kind of blanked my mind to try and shut out the memory of it, and I think it worked. I don't think I remember where it is. I may have a hunch. I don't definitely remember where it is, at the very least. Um... Uh, if I'm just going to output, why don't I just use a, a big container at this point? If I just, if I use three containers, it's just going to be like, one of those things runs out of space eventually anyway. Uh, let's see. 100 steel. I'm glad with the, uh... I guess it wouldn't make sense, but I'm glad this isn't a prerequisite for this isn't a prerequisite for this uh, with the larger containers. So hopefully if we let this run indefinitely Oh, that's not going to reach. Dope. Uh, hopefully that... What, wait, what? There we go. Let's just double check our rate. It's incredibly slow. We're looking at... Uh, 2.35 U-235 per hour. Okay. Cool. And then, do we still use this to make uranium fuel cell? So we're looking at, like, two hours, I think. No, we're looking at, like, one hour to get a uranium fuel cell. 50 gigajoules. Um, how does that compare to, like, rocket fuel, for instance? 100 megajoules, so, like, 50... Five stacks of solid rocket fuel in one uranium fuel cell. What about coal? Coal is what I could have burned to run this thing. I got a little bit of a feel for how far that goes. I can't look at it here. Um, editor? Oh, here we go. Six megajoules. Six megajoules versus... Was it 50? That's not that... Oh, 50 gigajoules. Yeah, slight difference. Okay, so one... Hmm. You know what? As much as it's going to be agonizingly slow... Um... As long as I don't go ham on it, I think this might actually keep us in power on our power suit uh, to attack the biters and stuff. Hey, Veldak, welcome back. What's new in the last four hours? Uh, the weapon cache that apparently I missed the message for. So we've got a couple of blue chests. We're gonna make them all. Uh, let's throw together some inserters here. That's not what I want to see. And I, I actually spent all of the steel that I was carrying. Okay. Let's grab some steel. Time to make an Omnicrafter. That'll be a nice little break from chasing this and that resource. That's going to last practically forever. 
Um, let's see. Almost everything that we're going to make at a mall. Well, I think it's at a time for this. Uh, almost everything that we're going to make at a mall. I don't think we need this anymore, do we? No. Is going to be run through an assembly machine mark one. We'll want to make... Or mark two, rather. We're not doing belts and inserters in an Omni Crafter. Nothing particularly high throughput. We could probably... How long does it take to craft these? Probably do warehouses and stuff. Yeah, six seconds for the big ones. Okay. Let's just use these for an example. We're going to need a lot of combinators, uh, constant combinators to list everything, I think. Can't even fit... What is this? 6x4, 24. I can't even fit all of the chests that we want on one constant combinator. Bots? Yeah, we're getting there. I think I want the bots built on the bus somewhat, actually. What goes into the flying robot frames? Ah, uh, electronic components. I forgot about that. Why didn't I bust them? I know they don't go into that much, but still. Um, so we got three bus things plus electronic components. On the plus side, electronic components are totally saturated again. I could just steal it from here. Let's do that first. And we're copying the trees because of a mod that I added uh, that lets you blueprint trees. Uh, okay, so... Let's just put this here for the moment. Electronic component. Assembler. Let's suppose we start here. I think I'll move this back one tile. We don't need flying robot frames for science anymore, I just realized. I definitely would have got that built sooner, if that were the case. Let's get some power just so that things stop flashing. Long arm inserters. And... Oh. Wait. We don't have the four lanes to play with. Unless... Something like this. Batteries and big electrics are relatively close to each other on the bus. Big electric, and then this is steel plate. And then we make construction bots or logistic bots. Just like vanilla, we just add red or green circuit. I don't want to worry too much about this repairing bots system while we're still in this space. Roboport. 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 There we go. 
Wait, how do we make a Robopot? There's no surprises here, is there? Something we can handcraft? Yeah, easy. Uh, and we're gonna go for... Actually, I could do one of these, I guess. No, that's gonna take up more space. And then we need more logic anyway, maybe. This will be a buffer chest later on. If I can be bothered. Uh, we're going to query the Robo Network. Instruction. What? Less than... I don't know, 50. Logistic bot. Read from the RoboPot, Robot Statistics, Total Logistic Bots, and maybe Available Construction Bots. Oh wait, that was wrong. Don't want a Logistic Network Condition. Uh, construction Bot... Less than, less than 50. That's available. Stack size 1. Logistic bot, same deal. I guess it, we don't need to worry about the precision with the construction bots. But I want no more than 50 logistic bots so that we don't have to deal with um, bot attrition. So that is total logistic bots less than 50. Oh, and this should be... No, wait, that's... That's fine. Uh, we will be needing... Some kind of belt. With red and green circuits. I was actually thinking we could do this. Or maybe you just move all of this up a little bit. Or maybe even use up this space a little bit. So instead of this, that's going to be a bit of steel stuck on the belt, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Seems good. Oh wow. There's only three stacks of bots in here. Uh, is there any way we end up jamming it so that we can't put logistic bots in? If there's... If we're going by available construction bots... I don't think it's that likely, especially if we put the logistic bots first. Isn't the first attrition limit 500? Uh, no. I mean, unless they changed it or the mod K2 makes it different or something. Um, if you have 50 logistic bots or less, you never get bot attrition in a robot network. That's how it worked with my last playthrough. Without any of the research, it should be lower, but at least I had crash and damage, something at 250 bots. Yeah, the research sadly only affects 
whether or not the bots deal damage when they explode, uh, when they crash. You can't research it so that they don't crash. Oh, I should have copied this so that I can easily see where things go. Okay. Uh, I need some assembly machines. Small electric. And so on. Green circuit steel. Oh, green circuits are looking sad. Green circuits are looking very sad. Uh, why don't we... Make sure there's always some in the chest. Green circuits greater than 200. And I could maybe upgrade... We're bottlenecking on stone. Stone brick. Oh, I was going to upgrade those. Should have known I'd forget that. Alright, we've just doubled our stone brick. Uh, 36,000 per hour is one way to look at it, or we could say with it's 10 per second. And over here we need 4 per second. So we really weren't getting 4 stone bricks per second at this spot in particular. Which means we weren't getting 8 per second earlier. Oh, yeah, well that... That tracks, actually. We were getting five per second. So this should... There's nowhere else taking stone brick. This is the first thing that takes it. So that'll actually definitely saturate now. But maybe not after I upgrade these. Uh, assembly machine. We need iron gear, automation core, iron plate. Automation core... Iron plate. Inventory is full. Random stuff on ground. And handcraft a few of those. Shift C. Free up some inventory space. Fantastic. Oh! Can we make a RoboPort? Uh, yeah, I already checked. Small electric, advanced circuit, steel beam. Small electric. Steel beam. And I can make one. It uses a whole stack of small electric motors. Wow. That's kind of expensive. Concrete now. Uh, which means it's going to be a pain making the first, like, dozen or so. As we stretch out the robot network. Shift C is a godsend? It really is. It gets stuff out of your inventory that you didn't even know was cluttering it up. And I need green circuits. Here we go. Oh, that's not right. To the belt things. Let's use the nav set to copy paste these nice and straight. Uh, battery plus big electric, they're right next to each other. Perfect. 
Let's bring the big electric over so that we don't have to remember which is which. We're going to need to do that soon anyway. And... Grab that design again. I will never, ever blueprint it. You can't make me. Small electric is... not small electric. Uh, batteries are right here. Nice and easy. Steel plate. Oh wait, we need steel to be on one side of the belt. Uh, so the near side. Which one's steel? Makes it easier having the nav set. Uh, steel is actually here already. Fantastic. Oops. There goes our odd underground belt. Oh, which means I'm out. Just ever so gently asking, are you ready with the meteor defenses? Nope. Also, how's our frontal mass ejection? Uh, eight hours remain. I need to make like 200 steam turbines still. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, red undergrounds. Like. Four stacks of that, why not? Wow? Wow, what? Just let CME hit? No way. There's a biter running on your bus. Yes, indeed. This is our biter friend. He's a good boy. Where's our steel again? Here it is. And we need it to line up here. Number of turbines to make? Oh yeah. Because we need to block uh, 182 Giga, uh, 2.28 gigajoules peak power. Wait, no, 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 uh, it's too late. Um, I need to block that side. It'd be nice if we could just, like, configure this so that we don't need to actually... Well, there's one way to do it, but as soon as we have bots, it's not going to last. Let's put a ghost here. Alright, so I need to clean off that half of that belt. Red and green circuits, sadly, are not next to each other. Um, we do at least have a guide. We know we need those to go up this tile. this actually. Undergrounds. It's weird how we've never had the slightest trouble with red circuits. Normally that becomes an issue sooner or later. And once more with feeling. And I guess I'll do this. 
Alright, so that should be red and green circuits done. Does that mean we're ready? I think it does. Oh, we're, we're seriously one tile off this being covered by one substation. Rip. Alright, I see motion on the flying robot frames. We've got red and green circuits. Uh, I think that's it. That's our bot. Unless there were changes, you're highly likely to dodge CMEs if you have the whole planet uncovered. That's probably true, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, it is taking a ridiculously long time to finish scanning the planet since I changed those settings. Uh, although we haven't had any of those lurches since then, I don't think. So, that seems to work. We did reduce it by a factor of 10 on both of those settings. That was maybe a little bit excessive. Let's try 5. And, yep, there's our four Logi bots. I guess I can probably limit this a lot more for what's going to be in the chest, since we're going to stop at 50 and we're not going to lose any Logi bots. If you're willing to save scum, you can just reset over getting that 1-5% to chance. Nah, we're good. Okay, where are we going to build our... I've only got like two more roboports. Oof. Yeah, these are going to be a pain to make for a little while. Um... I guess we'll just follow the path of these chests that we've already got. Are we really one tile off squeezing this in here somewhere? Kinda, yeah. I could do an underground there, that'd work. So I need to convert those to passive provider storehouses. I can actually... Oh, I thought I could handcraft four. I got misled by the number four there. Oop. And that gives us back a storehouse. Oh, it's just ten... Ten green, ten red circuits. Okay. To convert the existing ones, that is. Uh, Wazzy Tong, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That underground is backwards. The Roboport one. Oh yeah, because we snaked it around from up top. I forgot about that. Good catch, thank you. Now we need to make more roboports as well. Uh, I think we're going to need like... Let's say five to cover, uh, to cover the north side. Which is one whole stack of small electric motors every time. Okay. If you can catch backward undergrounds, uh, you can catch backward undergrounds if they don't remove the belt in between. True. Yeah, I was concentrating on other things, otherwise I might have realized. We can't make the blue belts yet. I, I was thinking, why haven't I done that? We did make the stack inserters, though. What was I coming here for? 
massive stacks of small electric motor. One. Two. Need more red circuits. Oh no. Uh... Red circuits seem to be hanging in there. But our massive reserves have just about run out. Well, all of the machines are going that... I was going to say the input belts are saturated, but no, we're lacking green circuits. Alright, let's fix that in a moment. As soon as I get the roboports... What are those two additional Logibots with red crosses in your crafting menu? Uh, so when when the bots get to, uh, when the Logibots die of bot attrition, uh, I think there's a random chance that you get. I, I'm not sure exactly how it works. You may or may not each time get a thing that is left on the ground that you can. A destroyed logistic bot that you can fix up, basically. Give it a flying robot frame, advanced circuit, repair pack. Or just put four of them together with a repair pack. Yeah, that's basically it. Four sounds a lot simpler. If we get a 25% chance of a flying robot frame back, that would work out the same, except we have to pay an advanced circuit every time. So this recipe looks both simpler and more efficient if I'm if my math is correct. Recombine logistic bot. Just smash four of them together. Steel beam and concrete. Down to 24 fuel. Alright, how many robot? Ah, oh, five. Perfect. Alright, so I want to speed this up. I can do this set at least without crafting anything new. Robo ports, that's already covered. There's nothing to pick up here, we're just stretching this past. Right, that'll go there. Same again. Nope, we've got plastic. That's a good spot. Wait, if the robo port logistic range half covers a chest, I imagine that's going to be accessible to the robot network, right? Let's find out. Uh, yes, yes it is. You can see on the wire there, uh, it is reporting the plastic. Fantastic. And a robo pot. Right about here. Uh, this is probably better. And here. And last but not least. Over here as well. You also can press SL. SL. Fantastic, more like fan plastic. <laughs> no afro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The only advantage of th is the 25% of you getting a frame back. But if you're putting the frame into another robo pot, uh, into another robot, 
doesn't it just work out so you don't get the red circuits? Press L. Oh, I see. Yeah, for logistic. Yeah, 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 that could have worked, I guess. Fantastic. Alright, uh, we're gonna need, like, three or four RoboPorts to cover this area. Oh, and maybe some over here. Uh, but I want to do the assembly machines first. Speed up green circuits a bit. Wait. No, we already used up all this space. I didn't leave. I didn't leave room to increase green circuits in that way. We're actually bottlenecking on copper. Uh, the copper belt is saturated, so we need to crank that up. How much are we making? Exactly thirty per second. So that's actually. I mean, we can we can eat up the reserves if we give it red belt, but first we should probably give it steel furnaces. Let's grab some steel. Whoops. Oh, easy as that. Uh, we need 16 for each set. Red belt. Where am I? Here, here we go. Loaders. Gotta upgrade this path all the way to here. Actually, oh, I see. Alright. That already should help. Let's upgrade these two steel furnaces. And do it again. Stone brick. Red belt. Whoops. Oh, that's not the copper. as well. I don't know if we need to increase the belt that goes down there directly or not yet, but we definitely need to do this part. Alright, what's our rate if this was uh, times 4? 18 per second, so yes. Yes we do. That's 36 copper plate per second. We are producing that. So let's do that. Hello, do I see a new series? Uh, yes indeed. I am Freaky. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does this have to be... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to say, does this have to be blocking? And yes, it does. Oh, we're totally saturated on ammo, that's good. 
Are our walls totally saturated on ammo? It would appear so. Okay then. Some of them are a little bit damaged, but nothing to worry about. No pure SE? Uh, nope, we're doing SE K2 this time. Already did pure SE and finished it, correct. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess I didn't say so already. Goals for today. Good question. Uh, we've got, like, what, 80 minutes left? Hmm. Uh. Get two uranium fuel cells. I don't necessarily like our chances. Although, I've seen... Looking at SE, I've noticed that the percentage-based, uh, like, products are actually perfectly consistent. So, it's not like we can get unlucky and get no Uranium-235, I think. Uh, so, with the calculation that we did, that it should take, like, two hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've already got one 235. So, once we get one more, we can use a Uranium fuel cell. In our power armor. Uh, maybe go to space? Maybe? I want to get some, like... Oh, I want to get the autocrafter going. And before we do that, we need a few more roboports. Another stack of small electric motors. I can't believe it actually takes a stack to make one roboport. Of just one of the input resources. Advanced circuit concrete. Uh, advanced circuit concrete. I almost forgot to do this. Oh, we're looking better already now. We're actually gaining red circuits. Concrete. I ran out of fuel. It's fine. It's fine. Small electric again. Oh, we got hit by a media. Uh, next goal is definitely anti-media defense. Uh, defense installations, that is, the global one. You also ran out of power. Ran out of power? Oh, that's busted. Yeah, I see. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Where did my small electrics go? There they are. Alright, so I got five roboports now. Uh, hopefully I can... Wait, I need the fuel first. Hopefully I can stretch this... What are the robots doing? Oh, repairing? No, I don't... I haven't given them repair packs yet. Uh, we're one... Two tiles off this being really well placed. Let's just put some undergrounds here. Oh, I forgot I put things in the trash slots. Oh, wow. Um, the bots are faster than expected. Let's give them some repair packs as well. The bots are much faster than expected. I remember them being excruciatingly slow in early SE. I don't, act I don't actually have a storage chest yet. Let's do that. 
Uh, why don't we do a big one? Warehouse. I need uh, steel beams and steel. And steel. Clay vanilla SE.6. Wait, they are faster than mine? Maybe it's K2. If I'd known they were going to be this fast, I would have built them much sooner. Nice. Uh, storage chest, I guess. Next to the mall makes a lot of sense. Well, it's not really a mall. It, it kind of is, sort of. And repair packs. Never mind. Wait, am I... I'm not requesting them, am I? No. Do we not have logistic parts? I'm sure... We should have... We've got zero logistic What? Wait, what? Hold on. Greater than 50. Wait, no, less than 50. Total logistic parts. As logistic bot, robot. Logistic robot has to be less than 50. Circuit wire, not logistic network. So why is this red? And why did it work for the construction bots? Huh? Uh, what? Am I blind, or is that the same setting, except for the stack size? Construction robot, less than 50. Circuit network, not logistic network. Logistic robot, less than 50. Circuit network, not logistic network. Total logistic robots, available construction robots, as logistic robot, as construction robot. Logistic- oh, logistic is 50 of 50. Dup. Okay. But why aren't they... Never mind. Never mind. E edit that part out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Built near Logibot Maker? Yeah, I moved it deliberately a second ago. Uh, speaking of belts. Fantastic. Okay. Uh... I guess they mostly fixed that already. Oh, did I never even have that much producing uh, single cylinder engines? Or did these get destroyed? There wasn't the purple thing. Whatever. How is... We don't... We still don't have our uranium yet. Our fuel cell. Uh, let's extend our robo network over here. And here. One off. Can we stretch... Can we make that work? Oh, that's tragic. Wait, no, this is... This is fine. Robo port goes here. That... That is not fine. I lied. Um... I could put it on the bus, I guess. Oh, I can just do this. Yeah, and then we have some reach down here, actually, which I, I do want. Diagonal go burrow, but no, I want to cover those two chests up there. 
can I make this one go down here instead? Fantastic. And we still need one more. Perfect. All right, let's grab some passive providers. One is on available robots and the other on total. Yes, that's intentional. I want the construction bots. Uh, I want more added if we need more, but I want the logistic bots strictly stuck at 50 so that they don't die to bot attrition. Oh, we're bottlenecked at least a little bit on our output belt for green circuits. Okay. And... like so. How much are we making? Only 17 per second, so it wasn't that bottlenecked. Except you don't actually get a perfect 15 per second because of the way the inserters are. Trying to put things onto belts, trying to look for a spot. Let's grab some more of this. Actually, let's not. Let's get our robo network to cover all this stuff. I need one more robo pod here. Oh, I've got one. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, that this is going to cover. Did I just launch another rocket? Yes. No, maybe. No, I don't think so. What was that sound then? Oh, that's the... That's just how loud this is. Okay. Uh... I'll fix the rest of that in a minute. Passive, provide a chest. Oh, what about glass? Is that covered? It will be. by two chest. I need power up here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess make those passive providers as well. Where are you taking that deconstruction planner? Uh, this goes here, this goes here, that's already done. Rando chests can become passive providers. Actually, that one didn't really need that treatment. That's not even in the robot network. Save is getting shockingly long considering I've only got one surface revealed. But now this is kind of big. I'm actually gonna run out of passive providers. I thought I was overdoing it. I need more green circuits. Uh, I also need to do some shift C. There we go. Green circuits, please. Oh wow, there's only a stack. Uh, okay. I guess we're not having belt bottleneck troubles at the moment. Um, what was I doing? Passive provider chests. Need red circuits. 
this is actually not in the robot network? Uh... Okay. Wait, I can actually just... That was easy. Alright. More red set, uh, red passive providers, please. Not all of these need to be passive providers, actually. I think that's it. Maybe not. That's too big. Um, all right. We'll add things as we realize that we need them. Let's figure out... Should I do a quick build of media defense? We don't have the processing units. I keep forgetting. I guess we're just going to have to deal with it until we get uh, the metals. Or I could do point defenses. Yep. Let's check. Oh, what's this? Wait. Where was that notification? What? Oh, it was Nalvis Orbit. I thought it said media destroyed for a second there. I was sure I didn't have any ammo or anything. If you got the yellow belt slash undergrounds to place passive provider? Yellow belts and undergrounds. No? The yellow undergrounds, yellow belts, yellow splitters. It's just the ones that are buffered up to go to the sides that I kept in wooden chests. Um, so yeah, I want to make, well, first of all, let's see just how, oh, we've got a robot network, so point defenses make more sense now. What's their range like? Not as bad as I imagined. Uh, meteor point defense. It's rather difficult. To see the range. What if I do this? That's actually kind of a little bit easier. Okay. You know what? I, I should have done this before. Well, no, we've got bots now. That makes all the difference. Um, I think I will use some point defenses. It's just steel, steel plate and coal to make the ammo for that. I could do that right here, actually. Point defense ammo. Don't even have to use a splitter for the coal. That's not quite right. Passive provider, and probably want to allow a few stacks. And can I handcraft these easily? Glass, steel plate, electronic circuit. You know what? This is just temporary, but why don't we do this for now? Fantastic. Passive provider, and then we want a, a media point defense. 
What the? Cannot be placed here. Did, did that happen before and I didn't notice? Or I thought I just misclicked or something? I guess we can't place those in the... Uh, in the lab. Yeah, I have no blue chip production because I need to make a new gas to get raw rare metals. Uh, and we've got so much stuff happening, I didn't really... Like, I, w I wanted to figure out the best way to make that chlorine, I think it was. Uh, or what to do with one of the byproducts instead of venting it. Um, but I had a lot going on. So I didn't do that just yet. Oh, wait. We would need to request a chest for each one of these. I guess I'll just have to manually supply them for a while. Alright, I'm going to take a short break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Let's throw up some words on stream. Once it loads. Point defense is temporary anyway. You could just feed them each one stack. Yeah, probably. Copy link. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. No name in base anymore? Oh, I'll turn that back on. I had to turn it off for another game. My bad. Skipped point defense, much to my annoyance. Okay. Uh, I'm going to recover my voice, which just had a little problem. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck and have fun.
Ooh, almost perfect. Fantastic. One more. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Nice job, level 7. Alright, let's pause this. And back to Factorio. Very hard one. Yeah, it happens. Uh, some of the, sometimes the earlier levels are harder than expected. Alright. Point defense coverage isn't that bad. Um, I definitely want, like, a stack to accumulate for each one of these that I'm going to place. And for now, I'm only particularly concerned with covering the main bus. That's where the actual... That's where the real damage can happen if we get hit. Fake B took out so many words. <laughs> Indeed. This thing takes a while to craft. 30 seconds. So like, what, 45? Actual seconds? Do we get our uranium? Can I play with this toy? Nope, not yet. Okay, uh, I guess while we're waiting for that, let's try designing our auto-crafter. So the way I've done it before... Well, I actually think I still have the blueprints. Um, circuits? Crafting Combinator. Yeah, here's a somewhat basic one. Uh, so we got a bit of storage, you can ignore that. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. The Ragnar, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome also. Uh, so we're doing a set request on this uh, request a chest. We're doing, we're, we're getting the recipe. That's magic, don't worry about it just yet. We have this uh, recipe combinator, which also comes with the crafting combinator mod, set to find ingredients, uh, and that is just outputting to the requester chest. Uh, the same signal that gives us the recipe goes to 
our crafting combinator, which is pointed at the assembly machine. And we're just writing, uh, setting a recipe, basically. Uh, what's this for? Read hand contents pulse when we output times negative one. We've got a memory cell keeping track of... Huh. Now this is a different design than I thought it would be. What's the time before? 3600... It's like... What? Uh, 10 minutes? If t greater than 3000... Oh, we're going to periodically empty this request chest. Because sometimes it gets a bit... Um, uh, full of stuff that we don't want. And that's just on its own little timer. So we got some stuff that we want to craft. Oh, this is just a... a what do you call it? A pulse generator. So instead of constantly sending this uh, 10 chemical plants to here, we just send it for one tick. And we do that by saying uh, both of these receive a signal at the same time. This one is each greater than zero output each. So if it's a positive signal, it'll output it. That goes to our final, to, to where we're sending the signal. Uh, and we've also got a each times negative one output each. And because wires are instantaneous and combinators take one second to read an input and then give an output. Uh, basically one tick after this is output, uh, one tick later this will output this signal here on this green wire. At the same time we'll be getting the negative of this signal on this red wire which will cancel out what's on this green wire here, as far as this combinator is concerned. So it'll be receiving a zero signal for the chemical plant one tick later. So then we pulse that onto our little memory cell. And then I think this isn't doing anything because I changed the mod settings. Um, I actually made it so that crafting combinators are super slow to respond so that they will have little to no practical uh, impact on UPS. Let's see. Crafting Combinator. Where is Crafting Combinator? I think it's down the bottom somewhere. Lighted electric poles, combat mechanics, where, where is craft? Oh, that's in startup. Got shifted on the tab again. All right. Crafting combinator. Here we go. Crafting combinator refresh rate. How many ticks there will be between updates? 18,000 seems a little bit excessive, perhaps. 18,000, that's like... I may have put one too many zeros there. 300 minutes? Okay, that's... That's definitely not what I intended. Uh, how about... 30 seconds. Wait, did I calculate that wrong? Hold on. 1800 over 60. Oh, that would be 30 minutes, yeah. No, 60 ticks is one second. Dope. This is 30 seconds. This, is, this would be 300 seconds, which is five minutes. That's not that long, but it's still not great for our current purposes. Um, let's just set this to once per second. And we should now see, there we go, it sets the recipe, 
and sets requests to these things. Let's just pretend those things are in that chest. And every time this outputs, it's going to reduce the count by one. So this is this is fine if you want to tell it, craft me 10 chemical plants and then stop. But that's not quite what we want. What else do I have? Yeah, this, this is more what I used to build. Uh, so we got some storage chests just filling up the space. We got a list of stuff that we want on these constant combinators. And we're comparing it to what's in the robot network. Read logistic network contents times negative one. Add it to that green wire. Each, uh, sorry, anything greater than zero output anything. All that does is gives us just one of these signals arbitrarily. Um, so in this case, the steel chest signal. And it's going to craft the steel chests. Uh, why don't I just put in some logistics here? Uh, ag no, aggregate passive provider chest. There we go. So that's going to fill up. Actually, I'm surprised we're crafting anything because that's going to read from there as well. Makes it a little bit harder to test. Um, we'll probably use this for now. I probably have to do some serious thinking about how I'm going to do the prerequisite stuff, actually. Because I didn't manage to solve it before, and I built all of these variations of the crafting combinators. Those combinators there deal with prerequisites, but the thing I don't like about them is we need, like, one decider combinator for each recipe that's affected by a prerequisite. So that's going to add up to quite a lot eventually. What is this a design area? I'm new to Factorio. Uh, the Ragnoff. It is called Editor Extensions. And if you go into mod settings with that mod, uh, per player, um, and the bottom setting under editor extensions is called testing lab. Just set that to something other than off. And you may want to disable sync inventory if you don't want to cheat. Alternatively, you can start a new game with editor extensions with a scenario that'll give you everything uh, that you need. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think for now I'll just stick with... Every time I use that shortcut key... Let me see if I can fix this. Um, controls... F N E I Control E, I don't want that. Although I don't know how to bring up that window otherwise, because it's not when I click on this. Do I ever use Control F? Focus search. Yes, yes I do. Uh can't think of a key to use for this just now, but I'll try to remember that that's there. All right, so now we can flick between these quickly. Fantastic. Okay, let's grab our blueprint. Uh, this one? No, this one. And I'll use the version that has several assembly machines. Although those are assembler threes, I need to downgrade them. 
I think if I try to put a 2 over it, it'll cry. Okay, we're going to need a bunch of combinators. We're going to need another Robopot just to read from. 50 small electric, 50 concrete. Give me that concrete. I could also go ahead and make myself a personal robopod at this point. What is this? Vehicle robopod. Okay. Doesn't go in the player. 4x4, four four, robot limit 100. Uh, construction area 96x96. 96 96. I think I may have compared this earlier and concluded you might just be better off making more personal roboports. Dimensions 4x4, four four. so if you have four of these instead, construction area might be a bit smaller. Robot limit would be 80. This would be better. Okay, never mind. Um, I could put it in a car. That would give me a reason to use the car some more. Anyway, uh, let's not get too distracted. Um, I need a... I need some combinators. I need copper wire and green circuits. Need green circuits a little faster than that. What do we have here? Decider, arithmetic, arithmetic. So it's mostly ar arithmetics. One, two, three, four, five, six deciders, I think. I need more copper cable, thank you. just going to keep stealing this. I keep expecting my bots to steal this from me, but I don't have any. Oh, and I need to make decider, not decider, recipe combinators and crafting combinators as well. Whoops. many? Six of each. Uh, and I forgot we need lots of requested chests to make that work. We've got one big request a chest. Hmm. Alright, tell you what. Let's just make let's just make the version with only one assembler for now. And I'll tweak that, perhaps. This one need a assembler too. There's actually no circuitry connected to it or anything. I don't have a purple chest either. That could be a problem. Hmm. Let's move this out of the way. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I, I think I will use the big requester chest for this because we don't want to run out of space in here requesting different things. Oh, does that actually preserve... Oh, that's fantastic. So that was a substation in the blueprint but we put down a lighted substation, 
but it's still got the wire connection, correct? Nice. Uh, is this? No, we need a red wire to set requests here. And then power? What are we outputting here? Steel chest? Set request steel plate. Fantastic. So we're currently aiming for... 50 of each type of... Well, here's a problem. We can't make buffer and request a chest. If I had left it like that, the anything signal, which just picks signals out... If you output anything, it only outputs one signal. Um, it basically picks it in the same arbitrary order that you see the signals appearing uh, on the right side of the screen. And after we crafted a few things, we would have got... Wait, it's actually ignoring the rail. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it decides the order of those things. Um, but once we got to making... trying to make buffer chests, we wouldn't have been able to... I... I just realized something. I'm not going to abuse this if it works, but... I'm curious now. Buffer chest. Surely it won't let us set a recipe that we haven't unlocked yet. I don't believe it is. Okay. Yeah, so we never would have made those buffer chests. We would have been stuck. I should probably put this closer to... I don't know, it's already fairly close to a bunch of our stuff. Since we're not using all that much space, I could definitely just put it here for now. Put some stuff in storage. Construction bots away. Yes, they're done. Just how much steel are you requesting? Multiply results by input count, that's why. Because we're trying to make 50 of these. Oh, I don't have an output for it. Uh, uh, let's make a big chest, actually. I need to make a warehouse. And I need some green circuits. Concrete and steel plate. Concrete. Actually, that should be a red chest, I think. We don't want bots bringing extra stuff here. We're going to run out of space. Potentially. Probably want to dump that bulkhead in your inventory. Bulkhead? Uh, what do you mean, bulkhead? Composite? Composite. Uh, let me do a shift C anyway. Composite. Hang on, can I do this? I can. Composite. Oh. Oh yeah, when did I get that? I think that was from the... I think that was from the uh, 
weapon cache. I probably shouldn't leave this here because I... Wait, I want to check something. Rail gun. Oh, that's fantastic. I think. Tick. Yes. And if I do it this way... Oh. Since when is that fixed? I remember when I got resources that I couldn't have crafted myself. I had no way to request them. Last playthrough. But apparently it's just not an issue. Ditch your pistol for railgun. I'll hold on. I'll leave it here until I need it for something. Uh, I don't want to use up finite stuff. Just by accident destroy the base with it. If I get to the point where I'm clearing biters and they become a problem, I might grab it. It's really going to need that pistol with one ammo? Yes. But bonking them on the head with. Alright, suffice to say, our logistic bots are a little bit slow. Do we have no cargo upgrade for them? Worker robot cargo size 1. Oh, it's... You're joking. Technically, we don't need rocket science for that, but it's hidden behind logistics 3 where we do need rocket science. Well, that makes this kind of slow, doesn't it? Maybe I should put this somewhere where I can belt all of the... I mean, that's just a mall. I think we're just going to do like a belt sushi mall or something. Logi bots don't go as fast as construction bots. Where... can we see a comparison somehow? I guess nothing's being built right now. Where are our construction bots hiding? There's some. What if I tell them to remove this? They are faster! Fascinating. Well, hence my overestimation of how good our logistic bots would be. Also, over the bot recipe shows the speed. 14.8 plus 14.8. 20 plus 20. Yeah, that is a significant increase. Alright, should we try going to space? How do we get to space at this point? Do we have to use a cargo rocket? It's either that or... Wait, no, can I make the space capsule? Is that... Yeah, yeah, I mean, if we can do a cargo rocket, we can do the space capsule. I need... 100 LDS, 100 rocket control unit. Okay. I don't have an assembler. Right. Let's... I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this in my inventory. Uh, 100 solid rocket fuel, two stacks of heat shielding, one stack of glass. Well, we got our bots and we're still flying around the base to pick stuff up because they're so slow. Uh, we just need the solid rocket fuel now. And I assume there's zero in the chest, because, of course, um, I should have done here what I did elsewhere. A hundred, let, let's make it two hundred. Solid rocket fuel before we... What the? No. No. No green wire. 
Oh, and it should be greater than, not less than. Alright, how much have we got? 42, more than expected. Um, there's a little bit here, so that count is a little bit underestimated. How fast are we making it? We're bottlenecking on light oil. Alright, what's our actual rate of production of solid hit fuel? It's pretty consistent, actually. It's climbing lately, but at the moment it is about 31.2... 31.2 what? Oh, 32 per minute, there we go. So we'll have, we'll have enough solid rocket fuel in like two minutes or less. Do I have the inventory space? I'm one off. I don't need this stack of... Oh. Well, how about this then? Okay, how about this then? Smart guy. Should probably do something about these fish in my inventory. If I pick up biomatter, I can get rid of them. Wow, this thing's been running forever and it's still... I guess it's been slowly running out of biomatter. Huh? Oh, I need first aid kits. I need iron. Wood iron biomatter or raw fish iron biomatter. How many more fish do I have? Eight. Now I need wood. It never ends. Shift C. Wait, Shift C didn't do anything. Why not? How's our rocket fuel? There we go. That's more than enough. Uh, we need a hundred, right? Well, I'm sure we'll need a bit more once we've actually got our space capsule. Probably also want to be able to breathe in space? Nah. What do you mean? I did make a life support earlier, but that's part of the suit now. We need LDS and coal. Coal is down here. LDS. And the more of these I use, the less we waste life support canisters. I need like two more life support facilities if this hasn't changed. Life support facility. Life support canister. Empty. We need blue circuits for that? I have like two. Uh, used up. Outputs. Empty. This makes empty. And this turns empty into life support. So, yellow inserter, like so. That's basically it. Coal, blue circuit... Oh, we need secure canisters. How do we make those? No, no that's not what I meant. Can I look at it this way? No. FNEI, save me.
Uh, there's only one way to make them. Sometimes they make... S oh, they always make scrap. Assembly machine, plastic, glass, heat shielding, steel, copper plate. Okay. Assembly machine. Secured canister. What a pain. Alright. Um, do I have water somewhere convenient? Over here. And here. Good my morning, <laughs> Cyclomatic. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. I actually accidentally made four life support equipment, but that's that's a good number. Alright, let's put this thing about here, I suppose. Or I could do this. So that it's already in the robot network. I need a couple more life support uh, facilities. Life support facility. Assembly machine 2, big electric, LDS, etc. Smaller stack sizes mean you have a lot more reason to build off-world refining chains, since raw materials have lower stack sizes. Uh, not always. So, some of the uh, some of the core fragments are still more stack efficient to carry as they are, but not all of them. So actually, check. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need LDS. And I need everything it takes to make blue assemblers. I don't suppose the autocrafter is getting around to making anything like that. We're on some recipe that... Huh? Can we not make rail? Two times rail? What? Oh, it's outputting purple chest. We can't make purple chests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the problem I was predicting earlier. Why is it still on steel chests? Wait, what? Well, whatever the case, it's not getting us any closer to a pair of life support facilities. I need pipe, big electric. Uh, Skyburner, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. All the, one, all the ones I looked at were a lot worse. Um, Alright, well, let's look at... There's a common pattern. It's They're all the same in SE, but with K2 it changed a bit. Or maybe it's 0.6. Um... Pulverizer. Here we go. Uh, so cracking down like a copper core fragment or an iron core fragment or vulcanite, definitely. It also saves you the trouble of processing, uh, dealing with the fluid as well. Cryonite, we get like 19, 16... Uh, 19 cryonite, 16 barrel, and so on. About the same recipe for each of these. So we got... I think this is one stack... of, uh, core fragments? Yeah. One stack of iron ore core fragments. Uh, zero to four? I didn't even notice that. But I did actually run the simulation with a few of these. Um, it gives us like 19 out of 50 uh, of a stack of iron ore, a little bit of stone, and some core fragments. 
let's, why don't we do what I did before? We're going to go, let's say, 1,000. That is 50 stacks of iron core fragments. We're not going to use any productivity bonuses this time. So bear in mind the more productivity bonuses you have, uh, the more extreme this is going to be. Let's give it a warehouse. Uh, super inserter. Blacklist. Oh, it's already on blacklist. We haven't given it power yet. Okay. Speed modules. Power. And we started with 50 stacks. Let's see what we end up with. It's definitely harder to calculate when it says 0 to 4 core fragment with no, no further explanation. So we've gone through 30. Doesn't look like this one will give us more than what we put in. Uh, I, I did run... Oh, probably the exotic ones have lower stack sizes. I think, maybe? Like Cryonite? I think I did do Cryonite. So this is stack size 20. Yeah, Cryonite is only stack size 20. So... If we're getting... 19 Cryonite... Plus stone, plus some core fragment... Out of one stack of... Uh, core fragment Cryonite... We probably shouldn't be surprised if... That's the wrong recipe. We probably shouldn't be surprised if we end up with the output taking up more space. And that's even if we get exact ratios so that we don't get a fraction of a stack for any of these. Can you void excess ore in the crushes? Yeah, you can always do that if you want to. So in this case, we ended up with like half the storage space taken up. If you're happy dealing with, um, I don't know, all of this in one spaceship or some other solution, definitely better to, to process this on the planet. But cryonite's going to be different. Anyway, let's see if we can't get to space before we finish today. I've got the space capsule. I need to give it... Destination Nalvis. Why can't I do Nalvis Orbit? Um, do I have to put fuel in it before it'll give me a different option? Uh, first things first, let's get the life support. Big electric motor... And everything we need for this small electric, green circuit, probably some iron and steel. Iron gear, steel, automation core, iron. Steel, automation core, iron. Steel's not looking so great right now. There we go, two life support facilities. I think that if you want to ship something, shipping core fragments is better than shipping ore. Uh, it's definitely a bit more convenient, but yeah, some of the core fragments, uh, I think you'll find, even without productivity bonuses, um, some of the core fragments will be more stack efficient. than if you break them up first. Alright, we need power here. That's pretty good. Let's get some water. Does this line up the way I think it might? Oh, it does. Perfect.
Whoops. Jetpack be wilder. Okay. We got water. We got coal. We got loose circuits. Wait, where did I put them? Oh, I've got, yeah, all two of them in my inventory right now, actually. I think if I stay in the capsule, I don't use up life support, so there's that. Loose circuits. Heat shielding, copper plate, plastic. Copper plate, heat shielding. Let's go. And copper plate. Give me all of that, actually. Oh, and I should place some media point defenses before I go. Uh, where was I going? Here we go. Empty canisters go burr. Oatmeal time complete. Fantastic. For cryo, you reduce the size like 60 times. Wait, what? What are we talking about? How does your auto logic crafting system work? I can't get it to work. Uh, basically, we have a list of stuff that we want. Um, we've got negative of what's in the uh, negative of what's in the logistic network. Bring that negative and that positive to the same wire. Use anything greater than zero output anything to select just one uh, just one signal. Send it to a recipe combinator to get the ingredients. That goes to a requester chest with set requests. Uh, and also send it to the crafting combinator. How long are you going to, going to stream? Uh, should be finishing soon. But I want to get to space. Let's place... Oh my god, 27 media point defenses. Uh, maybe that's going to be a bit excessive. Let's grab some steel chests. Oh, I just realized I set up a whole thing that was crafting these, and that is one of the few things it did already craft. There we go. You know what? Have the steel. It'll save the bots some trips. Alright, so... Should be overkill if we put this here. I hope. Can't pick a dollies this. Give each of these... I don't know, half a stack. Based on how much ammo we've got at the moment. But that's not what I meant to do. Give me half a stack, please. There we go. I guess I, if I'm giving him only half a stack, I could have just put it straight in, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Needs power. Let's go north side. So, control right click doesn't, it would try to give it half of all of my ammo. Is there not a quick way to sort that out? Let's try to cover the solar panels as well. They actually get hit more, than off, more often than most things uh, by meteors. Gonna run out of ammo soon. I should probably ration it a bit more. Each defense can only shoot four times. If I give it like eight ammo each, that's probably unlikely to run out for some time.
same key that drops things onto the belts or whatever. I'll just drop in one at a time. Shift right click is half a stack, but it doesn't put it in right. Yeah. Oh, I did control right click. Was that the problem? Well, I I, I don't have more than half a stack now. Uh, let's hurry up. Is that a power pole? That is a sneaky power pole. All right, we've basically got our base covered. More or less. How much rocket fuel do we have? Let's put it next to the rocket fuel. Oh, that's... that. The answer is yes. Okay. So... Does this change anything? Oh. You have not yet researched space capsule navigation. So the only valid option is an emergency burn. And we can't go anywhere with this, actually. And just to confirm again, there's absolutely no research that we can be doing right now. So I have to build a cargo rocket. What? What? Wait, really? Did you just... Okay. I can shoot while I'm... while this is in the way. Uh, yeah, we need to make a cargo rocket. 200 processing units means I need to mine this stuff, which I've been putting off. Uh, okay then. That's a little bit unfortunate. Guess we won't be doing it today. First visit has to be done in cargo rocket, indeed. It'll still do half a stack of what you have. As in half of what I have, if it's less than half a stack. I'll leave this here since... Well, I may as well. Uh, well, with that... And being very slightly over time, I guess there's nothing else we're doing right this second. Let's look for a strange raid. Did I miss any more? Oh, we got some more. We got new stars. That's nice. We've got a few stars now. I wonder if I've found everything in the Calidus system. That's Asteroid Belt 2. Hey, we got Hagen again, in like, the same spot, and with Cryonite. I wonder how much of that is random. Like, I wonder if Hagen always has Cryonite. I think it was smaller in our last playthrough. 3800. And very close to the interstellar map. I might go for Hagen as... Our main base, ultimately. Then again, it doesn't have to be in our solar system. But... We'd have to get pretty far through the game to move our main base to... Not the solar system, I guess. 3800 is a bit bigger than I had in mind uh, for our base, but it's still kind of small. Nice and close to the interstellar map. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it. For now, let's see who's streaming. Maybe make it close to Naquatite? 
well, I want it to be the orbit of a planet. Otherwise, I would make it Fo and Estra, actually. Happy to see your stream. Have a good day. Thank you, Master Block. Good to see you again. Nope, I am not here also. I think I saw you a little bit before, maybe. Uh, options for raids could be Zamaltus, JD, JD. I don't think I've seen JD playing Factorio for a bit. Let's drop in on him. Two years. All right. Need to go deep in research for that. Oh, to go to Fo and Astra? Yeah, there's that as well. Okay, uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, what's today? Sunday? So tomorrow we're continuing Calamity. A uh, blind playthrough of the Calamity mod in Terraria. We're just about to have a goblin invasion, so I had to stop building stuff off screen, uh, off stream. Take care, Cyclo, no Afro, Schnipper. That boy not so slim. Thanks for hanging out. And say hello to JD for me. Rio gentlemen. Take care also. Andy Gaming. Alright, see you next time, guys. And one online. Like a boss. Hacks! Holy shit! <laughs>